Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm playing Carto. It's a puzzle adventure game where the map is made up of moveful puzzle pieces. Apparently it's got some very tricky puzzles, but also some very easy puzzles. You know, it's like a, a curve of difficulty. Dude, that's a sweet ship. Oh, the map. The puzzle mechanic. I think this will be fun. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? This is why you don't let kids buy expensive and important things. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, okay. Well, uh, let's check it out. Cool world. Terrible story. I mean, we, we've we really got to save her now. What is this telescope? And we get a map. Welcome explorer. This world is yours to change. You can move any piece of the map and rotate pieces if needed. You can connect pieces with the same type of border. So <laughs> it's Dorf Romantic meets adventure, adventure puzzle game. I love it. Shaded pieces of the map are lands you haven't explored yet. Go check them out. So I explore the unexplored part of the map. So it's this. And then I could place it here. And yeah, now I can explore. So what's up here? There is this paper, floating paper. A new part of the map, possibly. A new piece of the map. Very cool. Okay, shift to pick up a new piece. I'll probably, I will want to access this. Can I rotate? Oh, can I not put it down? Well, I can move this surely and rotate it here. So yeah, it, it doesn't need to all stay connected. Just leave it like so. Another piece of the map and a new character. Thank you very much. Let's see what you're up to, fisherman. Hello, ahoy there, little one. We don't get new visitors very often. Are your family with you? Don't think too hard about it. Well, no matter. All are welcome here, and your timing is fortunate. For today, we celebrate the coming of age of my dearest niece, Shianan. Nice. Yes, it's very exciting. I was so distracted this morning that I forgot my bait. You'll have to do. Uh, but no matter, it won't be long now until the ceremony. And feel free to explore the island in the meantime, and I'll see you there. Well, at least you're friendly. I'm still not over the, the beginning of this. That was genuinely shocking. All right, let's go editing. Sue, so, this new piece with a hut. Let's send it above me. So I can explore it easily. What's in the house? A whole family. Hey, what's up? Hi, sweetie. Where did you come from? It's exciting to meet someone new. I've barely left the house in months. Girl, same. Uh, this little bundle of love keeps me pretty busy. Did you meet my husband already? He's fishing nearby. Though he's probably not catching much, that big lug left without any bait this morning. I guess we'll just have to rely on the whims of the ocean as we always have. Good thing this little ladybug likes fish, not that like that filthy little fuss pot over there. Doesn't like fish, what a sin. Hey, have you visited the other families yet? Kellen and her family were the first ones to come to this island. They live right on the sea. Saya is my sister-in-law. She lives in the forest with her family. Her daughter, Shianan's coming of ages today. I can't believe it's here already. Does anyone have a pronounceable name? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. You know, unless if I am good at this, I hope I'm good at this. I'm trying my best, okay? What's the kid I have to say? Rarg. Mama said I have to be 15 before I can have my coming of age. If you're not 15, then how did you cross the sea? When someone turns 15, a boat arrives at the North Pier, a gift from the sea. The 15 year old has to get in the boat and leave the island. Forever? I wanna leave forever, that's like a month? Well, clearly they have to recruit more people to come back to the island and join their island cult. What's in the hut? No one's inside. Uh, this is probably extremely rude. Let's find the, yeah, the next piece of paper and expand on this map. I guess they can't see me, so they have no reason to question what I'm doing. Oh, there's different types of borders. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna have this going up and travel in a forest up ahead. I'm, it's cool, there's different types of f borders, which I assume I will have to attach now. Okay. Looks like there's only one thing I can do. 
I'm sure I'll reach a dead end. I wonder if the hard part is gonna be that there's gonna be, it's gonna be really hard to configure this island. And just setting it all up is actually gonna be a real challenge. Well, still more paper around. Does it, this forest have anything else to offer? Nothing but cool leaf trees. I actually, I love how they made the trees look like leaves. I guess the bushes look like leaves too. Sure, just another little island edge with the fishermen. Let's go visit. Oh no, you don't look familiar. Oh, you're a different fisherman. I must really be lost. I know it's a small island, but I always get distracted on the way home. The ocean is just so beautiful. And full of mermaids. Full of mermaids. This is a bit embarrassing, but could I trouble you to help me home? You seem to know your way around. My house is west of one of the grasslands along the sea. Now, if I could only figure out which way is west, I wonder if I am supposed to change the map so it fits his idea? Oh, west of the house on the grassland. Yes, this all makes sense now. Reading comprehension 100. Take you west by the sea and a house appears. Okay, I, I, I get what this game's going for now. Congratulations. Oh, and another... Oh, another paper. It only appears now that everything is in its right place. Oh. Yes, yes, this looks familiar. That's my house. That lady must be my wife. Wow, what luck. <laughs> do, do you know who you are? Thank you for your help, sweet child. Do you know him? Hello there. Thank you for helping my husband out. I love him, but he'd forget his nose if it wasn't attached to his face. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you from another tribe? What are your traditions? Our people are pioneers of the sea. Once we set sail, we settle on the first island that we find. We feel so lucky that it was this one. We just love it here. Have you met Shinan yet? No, but everyone seems to talk to her. She's very- or about her. She's very special to us. It will be hard to say goodbye, but we're excited for her. I'm sure she'd like to meet you if you get the chance. Well, I did get a new map piece. Let me get this down. It's a forest piece. So I'll, let me set this up. Whoops. Oh, it, it still won't let me. See, I wanted to just place it down and then adjust some things, but I guess it just doesn't let me do that. Surely this is a decent attachment then. It's a nice little contained forest area and I can go explore it. All right, looking for another piece or maybe a person. I think a person would have showed up. I think I'm just looking for... No, wait, it's the kid. Psst. Are you looking for Shinan? She lives in a forest way bigger than this one. Are you for real? This is the biggest forest I can make. Maybe it's possible to make it bigger? Or maybe there's another piece of paper just sitting around somewhere? Oh my god, the birds leave papers! <laughs> okay, let's get crafted. Oh yeah, it's time to make a huge forest. And yeah, just, just start building. Why not connect it all? Ah, oh, there's the hut. Let's go. Okay, so find birds. They have paper in them. Shinin, that girl. All right. Ahem, uh, it is me, Shinin. Can I help you, kid? This is private property, you know. Sorry, it's been a tough few days with Shinin. You're really very welcome here. What's this? Am I welcome enough to observe this? A she seashell necklace. Inside one of the glowing shells you find a piece of the map. Very nice. Let's talk a bit more first. Sai. She and Anne keep saying that she'll return after she sets sa They're doing this on purpose. I can't believe this, but that's not our way. It's not the will of the sea. Once our people set sail, they must never return to their origin is tradition i know dear that girl really boils my blood sometimes teenagers am i right but she's always done things her own way i wonder where she gets it from i'm sure this is hard for her too we just have to try and enjoy our time left together she and then probably went to the lake to be alone can you please check on her young one you seem like a good listener what about this axe is said that this animal dwelled on our ancestor's island? Oh, the bear, not the axe. I've heard it's called a black bear, or a blair for short. It's hard to believe there are animals that big. I would love to see one. 
Would you though? Would you really? Let me work on the map after I step outside, you know, want to keep this private. Don't want them to know I'm a literal island god. Can make a little lake here. Oh, I guess that's actually what they wanted me to do. Let's go, visitor. Was good. Sigh. I'm just not ready to leave. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back and visit them after I've set sail? Our people have had that tradition for so long, I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because it's what we've always done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just upset. Thank you for listening. Who might you be? Oh, no need to be nervous. I'm Shannon. Welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever, though. My coming-of-age ceremony is today. I guess part of me is excited, but I'm scared that I'll be lonely out there. It might take me a while to make new friends, and adventures are always more fun with someone else. Um, I know I just met you, but would you maybe want to come with me? Yeah, probably. Wow, really? This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to tell my parents. What about your family? Do you need to tell them too? Damn. Well, then we'll just have to go find them. Oh, there's one last thing I need to do before we set sail. Maybe you can help me. I always want to have my home close by, so I need a good handful of soil to bring with us. I just need a bit more time to say goodbye to the island. Can you please find some soil for me? You can find the best soil where the forest, the coastline, and the grassland meet. When you find it, can you please put some in this bag for me? Thanks. Oh, I can actually just put it in the bag. Okay, so it's definitely this. It has everything. Pick it up. Now, how do I put it in the bag? Uh, no idea. Let me stand in this land. Wait, actually, this is probably the soil. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Okay, I'm not putting the, the map into the bag. Very well. I got you. Did you find some soil? The soil looks great, thanks. Hmm, and there's a strange scrap of paper buried in it. Wow, do you want it? All yours. I think that was the last thing I needed. I'm ready to set sail. The high seas will be no match for us. Sheenan and... Cardo! Sheenan and Cardo woo. If you want to go get ready, I'll meet you at the North Pier for my ceremony. Yay. Right here seems pretty solid. I'll do a little bit of walking. That goes underappreciated in the day and age in which you can just move the earth. All right, time for the coming of age. Everyone's here. Who do I talk to? May I speak with you, child? Ahem. May I ask you a favor? Oh, I got a boat. Please take this memento with you. And if you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him. The odds are low, but I'll take any chance I get to send him our love. Here's what I don't get. If this island sends off people once they turn 15, then how do they still have people here? Enough talking, let's get going. Hi, Cardo. I can't believe the boat really came. I guess I'm ready to go. What about you? Woo, let's get this ceremony started. My dearest, a parting gift for you. A necklace made from swordfish bones. May it bring you peace and perseverance, and accompany you day and night. My beautiful daughter. Absolutely adorable. This whole game's adorable. You know, except for the beginning section. May you find your destiny just as we found ours. We love you, Shinan. Thank you, everyone, for your blessings. I've come of age and the world awaits. We'll be right back. <laughs> she and I'm stopping that nonsense. She's just kidding. Uh, all right. That poodle is talking. Farewell, everyone. We'll see you later. He he. Come on, Carto. Let's ride these waves. They do not want her to come back. I'm glad she takes that in stride. That could be construed in like a really negative sense. Get off our island, we never want to see you again. Okay, the tutorial's over. We've made it to a bigger island. I still can't believe you've never been sailing before. You were a salty old sea dog out there, Carto. 
I'll never know how you got us through that fog. I know tradition says that I'm supposed to settle on the first island I find, but I think I'll do just a bit more exploring. There's a whole world out there. This grassland does look nice though. How about you have a look around and I'll check out some nearby islands. We can meet back here tomorrow and I'm totally going to find that sunken city. I swear I saw it. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, let's check out the map. How big is this? Not very, but it's, it's a new world. I'm excited to do some building. Find all the map pieces I can. Oh, it's a sheep! Bah! What did I expect? Maybe there's another piece on the right side. Oh, there's a piece right in the bottom section. And another sheep! What do you have to say? Riveting. Okay, what have I got here? Whoa! What are these? It's a path, I think. Well, I will place you here, and then... What is what is this? Is this a cloud? I mean, this kind of matches up. Plop you down, let's go exploring. And it even, even notates the assembly of bushes. Wake up, young child. Wah! My sheep? I drifted off for a moment, my sheep must have wandered away. They can't get enough of the snowy flowers. Dad says they taste like marshmallows. The sheep must have overheard. Will you help me round them up? Okay. Am I able to just grab the sheep? Okay, so they like the marshmallow flowers. I guess I could put them in the marshmallow flowers. Let me just do a little bit more exploring first. What do you have to say? Right on. Keep it down there listening. Grow young seeds, listen to the rhythms of the earth, and emerge from your sylvan slumber. Burst forth from your terrestrial pris prison and heed my funky beats. Heed them. Maybe he has like something else to say. My woolly babies, those fluffy jerks ignoring you. Oh, he did have more to say. They must really be into those flowers. They won't follow you unless they have something even more delicious. What's the most delicious plant in the grassland? Maybe Auntie Tuya knows? She's a rhythm farmer? Looks like Mo lost the sheep again, typical. How can you be a shepherd when counting sheep puts you right to sleep? And now I suppose he's asked you to round them up. Yep. Well, I bet they'd follow you if they had some honey fruit. Just don't confuse the honey fruit with the red devils that grow around here. We even have a song about it. Bulbs of red, sweet as sugar, only has one stem. One stem. Don't confuse it with the devil, steal, steal, er, well clear of them. So this has four stems, but it also has one stem per bulb. Oh, well I see, this is the, this is the one. Bah? Sweet, they'll follow me now. Okay, I definitely thought I'd have to let's say readjust the island. Bradley, you found him, just three more to go. All right, it's a simple fetching mission. I gotta figure out what it takes to actually spawn a bulb. Oh, never mind. This is reusable fruit. I got another one for you. Veronica's safe and sound. You know what I think? Only two sheep left to find. Okay, this actually is a standard fetching mission. The issue is I have not found the final sheep. So this actually might take some adjusting of the islands. He found Silvio. What a scamp. Hmm, I don't see Penelope anywhere. She must have gone to her secret spot in the middle of the snowy flowers. Okay, so I need to create basically a middle of snowy flowers. So let's just remake this. And I'll make the map rectangular too. Middle of the snowy flowers. Okay, how else could I have a middle of the snowy flowers if this is not it? How else could I assemble that? How else could I interpret the middle of the snowy flowers? Okay, so it's just a piece of land that's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. It's not like in the middle of a giant field of snowy flowers that's created when you push two things of snowy flowers together. Don't I need another piece of land for this? Oh, well, maybe that's one you find. Cause, Cause here's what I'm thinking about, right? Say if I just have a bunch of snowy flowers set up like so. Oh, it'll appear. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't have one. I, I, I genuinely did not expect it to appear, appear out of nowhere. Well, let's just assemble this into a nice map and go check out the new spot. Okay, so that is something that can happen. A map piece can just appear without grabbing a piece of paper. 
Bah. Follow me. Alright, lots of mechanics, lots of ways to work with this. Phew, you found all my sheep. Thank you so much. You're really good at finding things. Maybe you can help my dad. He's always on the hunt for new plants for his collection. Come visit our tent and I can introduce you. We live on the other side of this prairie. Just follow the road. I'll meet you there. I just need to count my sheep. Son of a... Okay, other side of this road? Wait, what? The sheep? Bah? What? <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Sheep. Very helpful. Let's assemble the road and check it out. Down I go. Oh, and it keeps going. Whoa, paper airplane. Ooh. My dear sweet Carto, that was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared, but my granddaughter is strong. And don't worry about me, the airship is fine, she's been through worse. Oh, and make sure that you gather any pieces of her map that you see. It will help you find your way in the world. Now get out there and have some fun. Love, Granny. Thanks, Granny. That is reassuring, actually. Significantly so. Alright, must build the map. There's a fork in the road. Don't mind if I do. On the road again. Hey, you made it over here? Every plant has its own rhythm if you pay attention. Listen. Gab aces. Back ages. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. You hear that? They're already growing twice as fast. Now quit interrupting me. <laughs> Let's check out this fork in the road. Two ways to go. Woohoo! This class is the best. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna become a master plant collector like Munkar. This is a lunar lotus. It blooms in the moonlight and burrows underground during the day. Wow! Oh, hello there. Don't mind us. We're just in the middle of class. Are you looking for Mo? This is his usual route home. Just follow the curved roads and you'll see his tent. Sometimes he stops by the river though. You can follow the straight roads there. Oh, and please tell him that his sheep got into my cabbages again. Got it. So, curved roads normally, straight roads by the river. What is this? Curved roads to tents? Well, then what's the other sign? Straight roads to bridge. What thing did I get? Well, I got a straight road to a bridge. Sure. To the bridge. Oh? Well... I guess I could reassemble the path, since I do have some curved roads and straight roads. Yeah, you know, I do have some extra roads. Let's take this, have this go towards the tent, and have this go as a straight road to the bridge. I mean, why not? Okay, what's up? Hmm. Don't interrupt my secret mission. I mean, uh, my regular normal task that I definitely can't talk about. Look, I really can't say anything, just I'm looking for the head of the river. We heard that a special plant appears there under the right conditions, and that it might be the ghost lily. But that's all I can tell you, nothing else. I have to get back to the mission. I'm so close. Okay, so ghost lily appears at night at the head of the river. And what's this? No road ahead. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a dead end. Well, I've got a curved road, so I can make it up here. That's quite all right. There's the house. Wait, so hear me out, hear me out. What if I just move the house? I could just place it like here. But nah, I gotta give him road access. It's rude to cut off a man's transportation. I'll just go the long way. Okay, we found the hut. Door is open, come on in. You made it. I tried to get some shut eye, but Penelope kept farting. Are you sure you didn't give her any red devils? Anyways, I want to introduce you to my father. He's collected plants from all over. Maybe you can help him find some new ones. He's just through the curtain over there. Wait a second. Is this adjustable? Oh my god, it is. Incredible. Oh, I can't rotate the house. But I can set it up like this. Nice. Very nice. Welcome. My son Mo tells me you helped him find his sheep. My thanks, young sapling. Oh, don't be shy. Whomever comes to this grassland is our friend. My name is Munkar the Mighty, a mighty fine plant collector, that is. Wham! 
I regularly travel to other grasslands with my buddies to research plants. We also exchange seeds with other tribes so that they can grow every type of plant. We're always keeping an eye out for new species. Just yesterday, we discovered a new type of rose. Now, if only we could come up with any other name for it. But enough about me, tell me about your grassland. Wait, don't say a word. I bet I can guess where you're from. I haven't seen a robe like that before. Did you come from across the ocean? The seaweed in your hair was a dead giveaway. Hmm, but which island? Don't tell me. I have an idea. Oh, monk, are you clever cactus? My notebook in the other room is a compendium, compendium of the plants I've encountered in my travels. Have a look at it and tell me if you recognize any plants from your hometown. From that, surely I can surmise where you hail from. Notebook in the other room. What's in the book? You got dad's permission to read his notebook. Lucky. A thick notebook filled with handwritten notes about different plants. Dancing pines that sway to the rhythms of the wind. Sometimes sashaying into adjacent forests. The sour potato, only one can grow every square mile, having absorbed the ambient sourness of all surrounding plant life. False moss, not actually moss at all, but a carpet of pygmy grasshoppers, gooseberries that taste horrible, and so, so many more. None of these seem familiar. This may shock him. Did you find my notebook? Mm-hmm. You didn't see any plants from your island in there? How is that possible? What exotic land have you traveled from? What manner of flora grows there? You'll never know. <laughs> uh, such a curiosity you are, I can see why Mo brought you to me. Perhaps you can help me with something. A unique plant grows in each grassland, and ours is the mysterious ghost lily. It glows with the most beautiful light, but it is as ephemeral as its name. Stomach growls. Oh, you poor, poor girl, you must be famished. Look at me prattling on about plants. Will you stay for dinner and bunk here for the night? We can save the plant talk for dinner time, or we can talk about not plants. Mo, dad, can you rustle up some dinner and set an extra place for our guest? In the meantime, can you do me a favor, young sapling? We ran out of glow leaf last night. I asked Ganga to fetch some from the forest, but he's been gone for a while. Can you please check on him? I'm going to get some air in the meantime. I can't be away from nature for too long. And that's the dude on the secret mission. And I guess I got to find some glow leaf. But I imagine I got to actually talk to Ganga about that. Oh, what the? It's a teleportation hut. Okay, they, they were talking about he's like by the forest, right? Was he in the forest or by the forest? Here, so here's how it's gonna go then. I'm going to create a whole forest. That might be good enough. Cause there's only three forest places, can't do too much more. Wait, are you Ganga? Pew! This forest smells like Uncle Ganga, okay. Well, he's around here somewhere. You're definitely not un Uncle Ganga. Look over here. I saw Uncle Ganga go into this forest. I guess I could try to con join all the forests i right the map creation oh it's the head of the river Ooh, okay i'll just you know connect the water for continuity purposes yeah i, I gotta remember to actually create map pieces that mechanic is gonna take some getting used to there he is what's good uh-huh i finally found the head of the river my, is it dinner time already? Time flies when you're solving mysteries. I guess I should come eat, but I can't wait to explore the river tomorrow. Though I don't think these little urchins will let me go. Would you mind bringing this glow leaf to Monkar for me? Thanks. Okay, let's head back to Monkar. Here's how it's gonna go then. Let's set this up here. And set this up here. Just because I don't remember which hut it is. Oh wait, they connect though. What am I worried about? What am I worried about? All right, well, I brought you your leaf. He's not, he's outside, surely. Ah, some glow leaf. You must have found Ganga. This is what we use to let everyone know it's time for dinner. It tastes like the riverbed, but it has the most alluring aroma. Nice. Ooh. It's becoming nighttime. We could find a ghost plant. Just clapping out of rhythm. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Woo, I'm stuffed. Did you like my prairie pie? My mom taught me how to make it before she passed on. It always reminds me of her. She's among the stars now. La 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 la. 
How do you like our singing? This is the song of growth. We sing it in harmony with the grasslands. Dad says that every land is a voice if you listen closely. Mom taught him to sing with the seeds and he's gonna teach me soon. Can't wait. Okay, no ghostly for me. Rise and shine. Nice that they just kind of accepted me into the family. We have a very exciting situation developing at the river. Ganga spotted a ghost lily in bloom. Everyone's on their way there, come join us. Hey, was it good? Morning? Hey, I found the head of the river. I'm hiding now. Why? Shh. I've heard that this plant is very shy. Oh. Let's keep quiet, everyone. Yes, very quiet. Isn't this cool? We'd better hide. This is so thrilling. I can't wait to teach my class all about it. I would have brought them with, but they're way too noisy. The lily pad. Oh, this is a portal. Bah. No, no. The sheep. Bradley, what did you do? It's okay, sheep, you didn't know. Oh, well, there it is. It got stuck. It seems stuck. I guess I'll untangle it. It's the right thing to do. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. What? <laughs> is that the end of that island? Surely not. If that's just another family I've left behind, then so be it. Take that with me. Wow! Okay, on to a new section. So what's up, Mr. Owl? Dude's making a circle. Well, I do know that there's four pieces of the river, so we can make a circle with the river. Seems pretty straightforward, so set that up. And in the middle, there is someone. Now, the downside is that I am not in the center of this river. Am I gonna be able to cross? No, I think I gotta reassemble this so I can be in the center of the river. I'm going to take this then and move this out of the way and move this here so that I can be on the inside of the river. So now that I'm positioned here, I can reassemble the map and the circle has been created with me in the center. Now I can talk to this bearded dude. Hoot hoot, you're the owl? Hmm, how did Cherb get here? What a strange place this is. Are you a messenger too? Where's your beard? What? Look at this strange leaf Cherb found. Does it mean anything to you? This forest, interesting. Shall we keep exploring? I'll see you at the tree. Hee hee, don't forget your sapling. Well, I'm sure he gave me another map piece, so at least I can work on this. It's a campfire with a path, and I have to escape the great circle. You set it up like this. So, now I can be on the outside of this circle. Let me attach this campfire right here. And uh, let me just connect the river. It's a little bit weird when the water is just sitting around doing nothing. It's a horseshoe river now. Oh, a whole gathering. A fair forest to you. How did you find your way to the wildwood, small one? You come from across the sea, but adventure deep inland. Curious. I'm Rickad of the Redwood Forest. This man is Neep of the Barrens. We messengers have our animals to guide us, but this can be a confusing place for outsiders. The forest will show you a way out. Good luck. Thanks. Let me collect these map pieces and stare lovingly into the fire. The fog of the wild wood can be chilling. Please warm yourself by the fire if you like. Okay, let me look at these map pieces I got. Ooh, it's foggy. Very foggy path. Two crossroads. Well, I guess I'll check it out. See what the deal is. What am I trying to do? Think there's anything hidden in here? What's this? A strip of cloth tied around a tree. It seems like that's a marking, so we're supposed to go in that direction. Um, let me just observe this first before I actually go in that direction. And here's another marking. Maybe I'm just supposed to attach the those trees together. Okay, river's going here. I'm going here. 
So now the trees attach. Here's the X. Wait, strip a cloth tied around a tree. Where'd the other X go? Oh, now it's over here. Okay, the cloth has moved. What? Now we're confused. Well, oh, this cloth has moved now. And it's shifted here as well? Oh my god. So now it's facing downwards. What is going on? Maybe what I need to do then... Oh. Is keep going in that direction, just swapping out the two paths. So I go this way, and the music means I'm doing something right. So I want to go to the right again. And I just keep following where the markings tell me to go. I found him. I found him. Owl Man. Run. Why are you so scared, though? Right, they went up. Is that my only clue? The fact that they went up? Well, there's this marking. I probably should follow the forest. As much as I want to follow them, I bet it's just going to give me nothing. So I'm going to just listen to the forest. Yeah, and it's giving me the big music note. Looks like I'm going down now. That I am. Where is my goal? Oh, here it is. I got two pieces of paper as a reward for navigating. Excellent. Let's see what I can do with those. More pathways. Let me place this one here first. And then maybe this one here. Oh, that's a different type of path. Wait, these are incompatible. Maybe it's just a one of a kind. And I can't do anything with it just yet. I'll go check out the... What was that? A fountain? A little pond with the bear and a dude. Hum, hum, hum. The water here comes from the evaporated fog is quite refreshing. Yeah, I agree. He may not be a pathfinder, but his strength is mighty. No obstacle can stop us. Hum, 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 hum. All right, well, I've got a new terrain. Okay, this, this new path is interesting. Means I'll probably have to just follow a similar quest. So I'll, uh, I'll check it out. The tree points down a fallen tree. Is that reading into it too much? Maybe. Well, I'm doing something right, but here the tree is pointed up. If I back out and come back in, does it switch around? Whoa. Oh, well, it wanted me to go back up again because the tree was pointing up. I bet it's randomized. I just happened to get the one configuration where it's back and forth because now the tree is pointing up. And also, let me check down to see if it's shifted around. Okay, well, the tree's pointed right this time. Let me, let, me, let me just follow the direction of the tree. Same puzzle as before. And now the tree's pointing left, so I go back again. And now it's pointing down. So here's how it's got to go. Twist you around and point you down. But does that twist... Oh, that does twist how the tree is pointing. Tree is pointing left. So I shall go left. We don't always follow the path. That's what I was confused about. I feel like I should go up into the forest, or into the foggy forest, not just any forest. Nice. So, two more pieces of paper. The forest keeps growing. Okay, another one of these things I can't interact with, but I can interact with this one. I'll go check out the rock. When will I get to use this new terrain? Who's to say? Everyone's here. Hello. I didn't expect to see you again, small one, but here you are. The wild was what is unpredictable, while others have been ushered out. It seems to have brought you deeper in. We're almost at mother. Look how densely the trees grow here. No kidding. Okay, let's check out these new paths I've gotten. Okay, so no path, but somehow the forest will help me. Okay, what could be my clue? Search all the edges. Oh, the forest, the trees. The trees are pointing left. That's what it is. That has to be it. I'll just set it up like this. <laughs> Follow the point of the trees. That, that has to be it. Nice. And the trees are again pointing left. In the absolute sense, I'm not making any progress, but it sure looks like I am. Okay, trees are pointing right. Well, I just go back now. And they're pointing right again. Can they only point left and right here? I guess up and down might look weird. I suppose so. 
Another clue conquered. And another map piece found. This area is huge. Okay, it's a path. I'm so far away from everyone else. Ooh, another note from Granny. My little Carto, I hope you're having the best adventures. Did you visit the grassland? I'm sure you learned about some new plants. If you did, the airship is finally operational again. She's humming along better than ever. I'm dropping this letter in the wild wood, hoping you'll pass through. If you ever find yourself lost in there, head toward the center of the forest. An old friend of mine watches over a very special tree. I wonder if he'd remember me. I'll keep searching and keep your eyes to the skies. We'll be together again before you know it. Love, Granny. Awfully sweet and uplifting. Makes me want to keep solving puzzles. Finally, a conversion of two terrain types. So I will set all this up. So this is probably the center of the forest, huh? Yeah, there's that tree Granny was talking about. Well, off we go. Oh, it's spookier here. Ooh, <laughs> Love the shift in surrounding. I'll check it out. Saving the uh, caves. Adjustable caves. Very strange. Can I rotate these? I can. So I need to get to... Oh, and the paths don't even line up most of the time. Well, that's funny. Okay, what does line up then? This lines up. There we go. Oh, I see. So we're going to have to go back and forth between different paths... Uh, to, to just kind of shuffle around them until I eventually get the right connection. Can I interact with this worm? Nice. There's a whole other type of path too, but I think it's for creatures smaller th than me, isn't it? So this has to connect to maybe here. It can rotate. So let me make it on over. And there's a hut there. For a small animal. Oh, for the worm? The earthworm looks happy in the tunnel, tunnel but where does the tunnel lead? Um, am I going to have to do a guiding mission for the earthworm soon? We'll see. I've made it to the center. Ooh. It's the friend, probably. I know you can talk. Wait. Is it you that's going to talk? Who? Ah, she's right. She's always right. It's true. Cherb lost his sapling. So ashamed. What will mother think? What does Cherb do? Where does he go? It's almost time for the ritual, and no time to go back to his forest. If only Cherb had something to replace Sapling with. Oh, I've got the lily. This. This is not a sapling. But perhaps it will work. A plant is a plant is a plant. It is better than not a plant. Thank you, beardless messenger. You are small and kind. Cherb goes gratefully. Follow them? I'm actually not sure what my goal is now. Oh, okay. I have new things at least. I, I can also see the earthworm on the map. Let's see if I can guide him around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get myself moving first. I need to get to whatever the hell that is. Or maybe the sign up here. Something's got to connect. That connects. It's a start. This is blocked off. Huge pile of dirt. Only an expert could remove it. So I do have to bring the earthworm here. Oh, never mind. I see how this lines up now. Is that... Still doesn't in include me. We have to be nearing. There we go. Earthworm can make it to me. You've done it. <laughs> Come on out. Oh, we even get him back. And I'm meant to go this way. Very nice. The sign... That's a start. Don't give up. <laughs> it's just a dead end. Well, maybe this can help? Oh, it's a perfect match. There we are. Leading me out. It's a whole new area. Whoa, that's a big area. Holy crap. This is the most involved section so far. Look at all these pieces. Yeah, it's ramping up. It's straight up puzzle time now. Well, 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 what would this be? A broken stone bearing part of an incomplete symbol. And there's more roots that almost resemble pathways. I'm sure everything here is meant to be connected. Now, the symbol on the rock kind of resembles a couple of these. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got to connect everything together. I just want to explore the area first. Maybe see if there's any additional pieces of paper or other clues I can mess with. Well, here's another one of these pathways. 
I'm sh sure maybe the stones have to be adjacent to each other. <sighs> Big tree. Okay, another one of these broken stones. So there's probably going to be four stones that I have to conjoin. Here's another one. This one's got a more zigzaggy path. The other one's had more U's. So that's, that's a different symbol. I think what I want to do is just simply connect as many... Well, connect all the paths. Maybe I should be thinking harder about combining the stones. Yeah, I see, okay. I should think hard about combining the stones. It looks like all four stones are meant to be combined. As you can see with these two, they com create the top half of the stone. So I'll put all those together and then maybe I'll have a start. Well, the stone's been created. A stone bearing a unique symbol. Is this the overall path it's supposed to make? Like, what if this symbol is what the overall map is supposed to look like? I can see it. Like, the map seems to be hinting this at the top. And then it curls in. Yeah. Like this. And then it curls down? That doesn't quite work, does it? Well, this might be right. This might make a little bit more sense. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, there we go. It's lining up very nicely now. Technically, I don't know which of the bottom ones is which. Can I figure that out from this stone? I think it'll just be context clues. Like this will connect. This will connect. And these set up down here, just as long as they align with the forest or the forest align. And that's the overall setup. Cool puzzle. Multi-step process, the first of in this game. So who the hell are you? Russell, Russell, Russell. Russell, 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 Russell. I read you loud and clear, brother. Lee, Lee, whoa, 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 ba, 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 loo. It's speaking straight facts. I'm much better. I'd almost forgotten how to speak the common language after all these years alone. Wise as she is, mother isn't much for conversation. But it's good to see you here, messenger. The first to arrive, bravo. As you know, I am the Watcher. You must have received the signal. Which forest do you journey from? And where is your animal companion? Are they an insect of some sort? Hello, my tiny friend. You can come out now. It's the Earthworm Companion. Hmm, upon closer inspection, perhaps you are not a messenger. Then how did you traverse these woods wild as they are? <laughs> That's my secret. I see. Still, you found your way through the underground maze and overcame the tricks of the Wildwood. Navigation is in your blood, dear girl. You remind me of someone you know. In my youth across the sea, there was a young woman. Oh my god. Is this my grandfather? What? Ah, uh, never mind. Simply a passing impossibility? Dude, have you not been paying attention to this plot? Have you caught a glimpse of the messengers yet? I wonder which will mother choose? Ah, uh, yes, I suppose this ritual would be a mystery to you. Messengers watch it. Watchers, saplings, animal companions. It's all very ancient and fascinating. What say we take a walk and I can give you the entire oral history. Humor an old man I haven't spoke to anyone in decades. When the mother tree has reached the end of her thousand year growth, the current watcher must put her to sleep using the flames of the wildwood. Her life essence carpets the entire forest, spurring a millennium of new growth. Ah, hello there. Messenger Neep of Barons and Vulture. Travel to far, we bring Sapling. I will be Watcher. Yes, hello, welcome. I'm just in the middle of a yarn. Please go and wait by Mother and we'll be with you shortly. The smoke from Mother also acts as a signal to the forest tribes, which each send a messenger bearing a sapling from their village. Once the messengers reach Mother and plant their saplings, they must recite the 87 stanzas of the Rhyme of the Wildwood. Holy crap. Ah, more messengers. Tidings Watcher, and to you too, small one, it is no surprise to see you here. Rukad from the Redwood Forest, my foxy friend and I are ready for the ritual. Cholmec of the Evergreen, and Mbear. Tips Fedora. It truly, it's an honor to be in Mother's Embrace. I feel cozy already. Welcome messengers and woodland companions. Please gather at Mother. I'm almost done regaling our friend here with our traditions. After the saplings are planted, Mother will choose one of them to embody her regrowth. The messenger who provided the sapling will become the new watcher, and their tribe will protect Mother throughout her growth. 
As each Watcher grows old, another from their tribe will take over, so that the Elder Watcher may go home and live out their days in their village. As you may have guessed, I'm the final Watcher of my line, and I'm well ready to return to my village. Mmm, I wonder if they still make those toasted bananas back home? Oh, our final messenger? You're just in time for toasted bananas. I mean, er, the ritual. Cherb is exhausted, but Cher Cherb has sapling. Definitely original sapling. Ahem, <clears throat> Cherb here of the Coniferous. Cherb will surely never be as chosen as Watcher, but excited to attend a glorious day in the Wildwood. Hello, Beardless One. Everyone is here. It's time to wake Mother. Let us gather. Mother, it is time to awaken. Your children has traveled from farthest forest, redwood, barrens, evergreens, coniferous. And I, your watcher, ready for my rest. We gather here to begin your rebirth. Messengers, produce your saplings, the strongest, most beautiful specimens of your forests. Let us plant them and stir mother from her slumber. Is mother going to be pissed because it's like, you know, a non-local plant? What did we do? How... Have we just messed up a once-in-a-thousand-year ritual? Dude is acting really suspicious. He is not ready for this. Oh? Oh! Hmm, a ghostly glow with a strange new sapling. Mother's choice is clear. Messengers, the next watcher is... Cherb of the Coniferous! Ah? Eh? Oh? Uh, what? Well, congratulations. Um, Cherb is so confused. Why is he the watcher? Cherb isn't good at watching anything. It must have been the sapling you gave. Cherb, special sapling. Cherb isn't special. Cherb wants to go home. Sucks to be you. You have responsibility now. Good, good. The ritual was a success. Mother chose Cherb sapling and he, thus he becomes the new Watcher. He may not feel ready, but Mother knows best. The mere act of being chosen will start him down the path. Mother is in no rush. I'm glad you could join us for the ritual. Perhaps you'd like to say goodbye to the other messengers, then I can show you the path out. Bye. Ah, well, it would have been nice to been chosen, but Mother does what's best for the entire forest. We'll stick around for a bit, in case Chirp needs any help. Odd choice, Chirp, but respect it. Mother will grow taller than Sky. Want to witness. Ho, ho, ho. We're a bit relieved you weren't chosen, honestly. We love exploring, but we're not as happy staying in one place. Mother must have known that she's so wise. It sounds like the other messengers will be sticking around a bit longer. I'll soon be making my own journey home once I've showed Cherb the ropes. May I show you the path out of the Wildwood? Nod. Great, follow me. Cherb, please join us. It's time for your first lesson. Okay. Oh, good luck to him, huh? The Watcher must learn the language of the trees. Watch carefully, Cherb. Russell, Russell, Russell. The forest favors you this day. Please take this token. Nice. It was destiny that you should come here, and with this you'll never lose your way in the Wildwood. I'm glad you could join us, and thank you for helping Cherb replace his lost sapling. You can't fool a watcher, Cherb. You'll understand one day. Mother sees all, and she still chose you. Worry not. Go, little one. I'm sure we'll see you soon, and give my best to your grandmother. What? Travel safe and pray for Cherb. <laughs> He'll be fine. You won't mess up the forest, I'm sure. The puzzle solving has improved. Whole new area. Time to see what mystery lies in here. What is this, a swampy river? It's the swamp biome. A path back to the grassland just across the river. I could get there. But first I'll check out this house. Whoa. The little cartographer. After being led out of the wild wood, the little cartographer arrived at a strange building hidden amongst the trees. If I arrived in a house and there was a book narrating what I've just done for the past hour, I would leave immediately. She followed her curiosity inside and picked up the first book that she saw. Just then, the story tender entered. What? Ah, there's that darn book I've been looking everywhere. It's a good one, eh? I was thoroughly riveted, couldn't put it down. And then when I did, I forgot where I put it. Ghost lilies, bear hugs, farting sheep, what an adventure. 
Yeah, crazy that. Well, clearly you have good taste. Welcome to the story chalet. We're not easy to find. You must have a nose for knowledge. I'm the story tender and I take care of a rather unique library. You'll find lots to love here and our stories are always changing. In fact, they've been changing rather quickly of late. I was just in the middle of sorting some books, but these old bones could use a break. Let me show you how things work around here. And this is the desert wing of the chalet. Not to be confused with the dessert wing, which is sadly still under construction. Like I mentioned, each wing contains stories related to a specific area of the world. I recently started reading a good one in this very room. It was about an old lady searching for her granddaughter in the desert. Wow. I know, right? What a good premise. When I left off, the granny was getting a bit exhausted. You're a sociopath. What the hell? I can see you're excited about learning. Oh, to be a curious young mind again. Well, off you go then, have it these books. I'll be in the writing room, just let me know if I can be of any assistance. Son of a... Okay, we're on the first floor. Searching the sands, the desert could be a harsh place and was home to resilient nomadic people. The shifting sands were a way of life, often confounding the flora and the fauna. And within the tumult, a wizened woman searching for her granddaughter. They had been separated by a storm and yearned to be together. There was sand as far as the eye could see. It was inescapable, between your sheets, on your skin, in your sandwiches. When the sandstorms were <laughs> at their most fierce, the whole camps will be buried. Sandwiches. Routes leading back to the grassland and other neighboring regions would disappear. These paths could be found again by intrepid adventurers or at times unwitting wanderers. Right, I have to do some adjusting of this. So this is the cactus floor. So let me adjust it here so I may explore. Hey there, welcome to the writing room. This is where all our stories are created, though I can't tell you how. It's not a secret, I just don't know, no one does. That thingamajig over there just turns them all out and has been for as long as anyone can remember. My job is to tend to the stories and that's good enough for me. A book lies open on the desk. Nearby a typewriter taps steadily on his own spooky fairy. Their people served an essential function, to chart the lands, noting any changes and shifts over time in memorial. They traveled by airship, tr quietly observing from high above, rarely disturbing the people below. Their navigational skills were peerless, passed down through the collective memory of their ancestors. Simply, they were cartographers by trade and blood. Well, how about this room? So, nomads of the grassland. Nomads by nature, the people of the grassland typically migrate once a generation. They travel to barren lands bearing seeds and ancient irrigation techniques. The grasslanders are deeply attuned to their flora, listening to the voice of the earth and coaxing its growth through song. By the time the next generation migrates, the land they leave behind is a fertile paradise. The gathering of magic boots. The grasslanders found endless ways of improving their lives through clever applications of plants. Using an amalgam of different rubber plants, they created a new type of footwear. These magic boots can be stretched to fit any size foot and raise the running speed of its wearers. The last known pairs await someone bold enough to sport them. Somewhere in the grassland wing of basement two is the story shell chalet. So we're in the grassland, we gotta find some boots. Popular grassland campfire songs, Good Night, Sleepy Sheepy, Sympathy for Red Devils, Ganga Style, Ballad of the Sour, Sour Potato Traditional, Begonia Bop, Monkar's Mournful Melody, Hey There Dahlia. Incredible. Well, maybe I'll adjust these about, because I see how these could like be raised to higher floors. Is that how that works? Because now I can go down and upstairs. Okay, wait, was there something about the bottom of the grasslands? Like, am I supposed to arrange this house in a very specific order? Somewhere in the grassland wing of basement two of the sh story chalet lies the, the boots. So, all I need to do actually is just physically move it about. So that I am in basement two, because this is always the ground floor, and now we're in basement two. And here's the boots! Nice. Yeah, all they do is let me run fast, so I guess I can run across the swamp. Maybe that counts for something. Oh, I am faster. Fast travel, yes. 
All right, I'm ready to dash across this swamp. I've got it. Let's go. Nailed it. Trail to grassland. Return to the grassland? Sure. Well, now that I'm faster, what can I do? Oh, it's you again. Welcome back, little wood sprite. We were worried when you disappeared. Did you happen to see the ghost li lily? Nope. Ah, well, I figured I'd ask. Monkar will be sad to hear it. I think he was still holding out hope. But everyone will be glad to have you back. Though I know that look in your eye. Are you on your own secret mission now? Hmm, you're looking for somewhere sandy. I don't know of such a place, but sometimes Moe the Shepherd arrives home covered in sand. Okay, I gotta go find Moe. Moe sand, Moe problems. I'll, I'll just get him situated right here. And go talk to him. Hey, Mo, wake up. Wah, my sheep? Have you seen my sheep? Wait, all of my sheep are here. Why did you wake me up? Hmm, where do I get Sandy? Don't tell my dad, but I don't know. Sometimes I just wake up a fat way. Maybe I can show you when I'm asleep. I'm wide awake now, but there are probably some plants that can knock me out. But I'm no plant expert. Well, I know who is. What do you know about it? Hello again. Who are those new boots? You're certainly making good time in them. But you must be tired from running around so much. Children, what plants can we use our friend to help uh, them sleep soundly tonight? I know, pick me. It's not a competition. Everyone can answer. I think each of the children has something to tell you. When you gather the plants, put them inside this pot. Okay. Pick me. Dozing daisies. They slowly nod and make everyone around them tired. There are a bunch planted near the circle road. Slumber stalk. Its stems have a gentle fragrance that makes everyone sleepy. It grows in the center of a field of yellow leaves. Circle road, yellow leaves, whisper grass. When the wind blows through it, it sounds like a bunch of people going shh. I saw some at the mouth of the river. Mouth of the river. First off, can I make a circle? No, I don't have enough. The only one I can think I can do is the mouth of the river. Is this not the mouth? Is this the base of the river, not the mouth of the river? Would the mouth be... Can't place the ocean. Maybe it'll, it'll like, create something? Aha. Aha. This mechanic again. Right. Uh, well, this is certainly the mouth of the river. I'll put this in the pot. One thing I guess I could do then is try to create this sort of deal where basically I have a surrounding of yellow. Yeah. Here, let me get into this piece of land and then transport myself to the middle of the yellow flowers. Surely it's this. Ooh. So now all I need to make is a circular road. Well, hold on, let me get myself onto the circular path. And I guess three quarters of a circular road is probably enough, knowing what I've been working with so far. Nice. Inside the circle. There they are. Well, I've got them all. Wide awake. No, you're not. Flowers for me and the sheep. Yawn. How thoughtful. Uh, this'll knock you right out. More flowers, you're really... Yawn. Spoiling us. Sweet dreams. Good old chloroform plant. On to the desert. This is where Granny was last found. Would you like some more tea, Penelope? What's in the hut? Oh, that's straight transportation to the desert. A whole new area. Hold on, let me go back real quick. There's a whole desert to explore. I can't go back. Okay, there probably was nothing else besides this desert. And what secrets does this desert hold? Probably sand. Oh, ouch, what a terrible idea. Listen, when you're feeling nothing, sometimes a little pain can spice it up. Let's take some paper and explore this and some people here. Desert natives, hello. When did I get so old? I ask myself that every day. I'm 24. <laughs> You better believe I'm sharp as a cactus, but my body feels like an ancient temple these days. Sandy and full of skeletons. Enjoy it while you can, kiddo. Beautiful isn't she, this golden desert of ours. Curves as far as the eyes can see, ha. Huh? 
We used to have a lush oasis all to ourselves, but it dried right up. We've been searching for another water source ever since. Whew. You must be Porsche, young sis sister. I wish we had more to offer you. We're down to our last few cacti, and Granny Nua is looking a bit worse for wear. I'm fine. Yes, yes, of course you are. We were barely able to set up this camp in time before the sandstorms rolled in. The rest of our unit headed west across the yellow sands, as opposed to the gray sands. Are you familiar with our desert? Be careful in the yellow sands, they're ever shifting and the landscape around you can change in a heartbeat. The white sands around us are calm, you can always use them to find their way back. Oh wait, there actually are different colors of sands. White sands are calm, yellow sands are dangerous, such steadfast mounts are boys. They're able to conserve water in their body to clever things. It makes them too heavy to cross the yellow sands, but it's helpful to have extra water around just in case. It's a good thing we found those cacti when we did. All right, it's time to get puzzle solving. We know what we must do. So, ah, I see. These are the yellow sands. I must go into the yellow sands. I'm sure it won't be dangerous. I have fast moving boots after all. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Hey, good thing I have those boots, huh? Yeah, it, it feels like it's a puzzle similar to the previous area. I must follow the direction of the winds, I think. So let's see if that works. No, that's also incorrect. Okay, something else must lead me in a direction. Oh, just keep heading west. So it's not like I'm looking for cues and basing my direction off the cues. It's just I'm heading west. And I was excited to solve some puzzles. Just keep going west. Like the pioneers, baby. Come on. Oh, I can feel it. We're going to reach a high note. Nice. Two more papers. All right, this will probably be a harder set of puzzles. It's a combination between white and yellow sands. Well, this is at least something I can get down here. And then this is all white sands, but this is brown sands? Wait, maybe it's those gray sands I was joking about. Well, a tightly locked chest with a series of numbers scrawled on it. 90, negative 180, 270, negative 270, 90. They're compass directions. And I'm actually gonna convert these immediately into directions. So 90 degrees? is east. Negative 180 is the same as 180, so south. And then 270 is west. Negative 270 is east. And 90 is east. Okay. East, south, west, east, east. Oh, and this is the start. Follow the footprints in the yellow sand. Make sure they connect. Cap'n. Here's what I'll do. I'll set this up. I gotta go east. And then from here, I'll go south. Let's run in it. So from here, oh, and the footprints are gonna take me east. Oh, that's not correct. Make sure they connect. So I gotta take this and turn it around. Well then what happened to the directions? Maybe those directions aren't too important. I just gotta make footprints connect. Okay, just make the footprints connect and follow them. Well, that'll look something like this then, surely. Connecting footprints. Maybe those directions can be saved for another time. Here it looks like it's just gonna take me in a grand old loop though. Oh, never mind. Just one paper. It's the other part of this. Very strange. Time to go check it out. I'm sure these directions will be useful at some point. Yo. Cough. Hello, little sister. You have the blood of a water seeker in you, I can tell. Not everyone can read the desert so well. We lost track of Captain Samala, but we will find her. Just as we'll find some water, soon. We seekers use all of our senses to locate water. We inspect the appearance of the plants. We sense the movement of the animals, the density of the air. Clues are everywhere. What is this? It used to be such a picturesque oasis. I'd shed a tear, but I need to conserve liquid. Well, this paper should surely help. Wasn't there a tree? Give me the nut. Hell yeah, coconut water. Oh, it's dry? Okay, well more 
Yellow sand. Maybe this is the time that I follow the directions? Well, it's not giving me the chime, so I feel as though this is maybe not meant to be. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna make a trip back to these people. Talk to them a little bit more, see what's really up. Sometimes water can be found near where vegetation grows in clusters. Keep an eye on those cacti and the yellow sands. Ah, so I need to combine the cacti. So, cacti in a corner. It doesn't tell me much more, but this could probably be a start of rearranging these things. This is cacti in that corner. So what I will do, I'll take you and rotate you twice. And now, cacti, which corner is housing them? It's top left corner. Okay, I'll change that. And there we go. That was weird. A little scream glitch. Well, oh, I got a rock. I found some strange ruin sisters. I'll meet you in the middle of them. I know I'm close to the haven. Cap'n. There's the camel. A noble camel chewing, chewing on a long, ornate silken scarf. Is this the time where I start following those directions now? Let's see. Is it giving me the chime when I go east? Oh, God. Oh, there's rocks now. Okay, what am I gonna try to do? Do I try to make like a big square out of the rocks? Okay, hear me out then. It's gonna look something like this. All right, take these and rotate it about. And I take this, rotate here. Oh, everything's changed. Wait, did I rotate this wrong? No, I rotate it right. It work like this. All right, fair enough. It's that mechanic again. Every time it, every time I get stuck, I gotta think of the that mechanic. That has to be it. Well, I found you. I see it. Through the sand, so hazy, built up from the earth, cool stones wrapped around water deep below, and somewhere beyond the haven. What are you talking about? Oh. Okay, she is going crazy. I think she sees water. Well, hopefully I can actually find it. Oh, it's a well. Well, well, well. So I suppose I could put it like right here. And let me take these and move them over here. Come with me. You see it? I'm so thirsty. Okay, fine. I'll bring you water. Here it is. A broken bucket. Come on. A rugged well missing a rope from its pulley. Some fresh water glints in the sun deep below. So I need a new bucket and a pulley. Well, okay, so I have a coconut half. Can I not use that as a bucket? Or do I need the rope first? Maybe you can help me. Oh, scarf and the coconut shell. That should work, right? Makeshift setup. Surely. I got the scarf and the coat. Yeah, there we go. That's a long scarf. I'll take it. Got water for the hallucinating girl. I got you. Gulp. Gulp. <sighs> Thank you for saving me, sweet sister. I almost made it to the haven, but I lost my unit along the way. Please give me a moment to contact them. With haste, my friend. What? Oh, apologies. I was sending a message via sand beetle. They're a great tool for communication. We mark our position on their shell, and they burrow toward the footsteps of others. They shed their shell every few days so it doesn't bother them. You must be very brave and resilient to have found me here. Did you pass my sisters along the way, might I ask? Yep. I'm so relieved. I knew they'd be fine, but I wasn't sure how far my clues would get them. If I'm right, this is indeed the gate to the desert haven. But to open it, I need a special artifact. Our tribe has passed it down through generations, knowing it would show us the way when we truly needed it. I believe that time has come. Sadly, I was harangued by a group of sand robes, and one absconded with the artifact. While we wait for my sisters, could you please have a look around for them? Thank you kindly, I'm truly in your debt. If you find one, remember they're too fast to catch unless you can distract them somehow. One stole a bracelet right off my wrist, those wily devils are attracted to shiny things. Sand rogue should be in the yellow sands. Use something shiny to lure one out. If you don't have anything shiny, you can probably find something in the abandoned camp. Okay. 
don't think I have anything shiny. Uh, maybe I do have something shiny, and that is the friend of the forest amulet. Let me try it. See if I can lure him out with that. Oh? Oh? It went down? I see. I see. So I have, to, I have to keep rearranging these until I find where they are. So we go to here and arrange this so I can go down into the yellow sands. And now it's going left. Okay, I, f I get the feeling that I don't have the amulet or I don't have anything shiny. Yep, they're still just leading me in a circle. Hmm. I have another interpretation. Maybe they're not compass directions, but maybe they're degrees I'm supposed to rotate something. So 90 degrees means rotate it once clockwise, minus 180 degrees twice counterclockwise, then three times clockwise, three times counterclockwise, once clockwise. Let me write that down. So I pick it up. Yeah, listen to that. Is the dial. Wow. So clockwise once, counterclockwise twice, clockwise three times, counterclockwise three times, clockwise once. Okay. Luxurious chest filled with simmer shimmering treasure. Surely no one will miss one coin. Nice. I got the shiny coin. Yeah. Follow the direction now. Or I can go to this. What is that? What is this? Oh. Oh. Setting a trap. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Absolute buffoon. A dizzy rat with a fluffy tummy. Aw. Kind of soft and very sandy. Meh. But something strange amongst its fur. A piece of the map. Nice. And the bracelet. Can I get the coin back too? You ever know if I need to catch more of these things? Yeah, well, never mind on that. Another one of these? You know what? I'll go talk to her first. I found the bracelet. Oh, they all found her. Hmm. I got you. The artifact, you found it. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. You are truly a miracle sister. Now, if I'm right, we just have to put the artifact in place like this. Oh, what does it do? The artifact is set, so what's the final step? There's some ancient writing on that gate, almost as ancient as me. It says something about the light. These? Maybe the, the ones pointing up? Oh, it's a whole freaking castle. Well, hold on then. It's time to create it in the sands. So it looks something like... Nice, a water. Ooh. Up we go. Oh, I probably grabbed the water from here. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Making a giant haven. Oh, it's beautiful. We found it. We can drink. It's definitely not a mirage. Hmm. I guess our drinking water is also a camel bath. I'm just not gonna think too hard about that. Yay, water! Alright, so I saved their ass. How do I get out of here? Oh! Talking to you, I guess. Ah, oh, that's how I get out. Whoa ho! Did you feel that earthquake? It could have only come from the volcano. There must be a major eruption of feel brewing the field all the way out here. There's no rest for the wicked, I tell you. Out of the frying sand and into the lava. I always knew the haven was out there, but it still feels surreal to be here. We couldn't have done it without you. As soon as we track down some more beetles, I'll send messages out to the rest of our tribe to join us. There's an ominous staircase in the ground that I must follow. The elders whispered of secret tunnels beneath the haven. And though mind, you may not, might not find your way back once you enter. Well, guess it's goodbye. 
Some stairs leading down to darkness. Check it out. Let's go. Whoa. Took me back to this place. The land of the library. And also the land of the boats. Are we going to see Sheenan again? Is her boat? She must be nearby. I guess there's still a story to be told. Surely. Ah! Nice! No. She must have been worried sick. Who knows how long we've been gone. I was so worried when you didn't show up at our meeting spot, but it sounds like you've been busy. The story tender told me you dropped by here on your way to the desert. Did you find any clues about your granny there? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. I bet she's looking just this hard for you. Ah, uh, you felt the ground shaking too. I thought it was just my lunch disagreeing with me until some books fell off the shelf. The volcano must be acting up again. The eruptions are quite a sight to behold. The sky darkens with thick black smoke and orange embers drift through it like snowflakes. Hmm, that snow smoke might make the sky harder for your granny to navigate Cardo. I wonder if you can warn her somehow. I bet it's worth a try. Great, I bet we can find some clues in the volcano wing. I'll meet you there. Such impatience. I'm sad to say the volcano wing has been missing for some time. The chalet has been a bit unpredictable. Sometimes the rooms are where you'd expect, and sometimes they go missing. If only I could visit the top floor again someday. Please ignore me, just the wistful yearnings of an old man. Anyways, I can't be of much help in locating a volcano wing, but I can usually find what I'm looking for if I read enough books. No better place to start. So, we gotta make it to the volcano wing. Why don't I also bring him to the top floor? Oh, well, what about this? That chalet is cursed, I tell you. While exploring its labyrinthine halls, I came across a floor sign bearing no number, but an ominous question mark instead. I ran to the stairwell in a panic, only to discover that the floors above it and below it were equally unmarked. I saw rooms I'd never seen before on those unknown floors and fled in terror from the shock. I will never return to that unholy place. So is this the, this is the floor. This is question mark floor. Oh, I see. And it's question mark floor because it's not attached to anything. So this is the new question mark floor. Okay, well, what can I do with the question mark floor? Surely something. Ah, there we go. Because I needed to be able to go up and downstairs from the question mark. Well, now we have the volcano room. Well, no, this is this is a different floor. It's a tree floor. Let's read about volcano. That's more pertinent. I think I found something. I had just about given up founding on finding a volcano wing when it appeared out of nowhere. This is such a strange building. Anyways, I think I found something helpful in this book. Have a look. The volcano is a popular tourist destination due to its temperate weather and world famous spas. Travelers can take the long way up, ascending its face over the course of several days or hope to catch a ride on a friendly member of its thriving mountain goat population. Though the fastest, most reliable paths up the volcano lie deep within the forest for those who can find them. It sounds like you can get the volcano through the forest. If there's a path, I know you'll find it. No one is better at finding their way through the world. Oh, you'd like me to go with you? Hmm, I worried that I'd just slow you down. I'd hate to split up again, but you find your way around so quickly and time may be of the essence, so hurry along without me, and in the meantime I'll do some research for us here. Well, let me do a little bit of research myself. <laughs> Volcano calendar, burning, what does that say, burning truth or a bunch of hot air? Volcanologists are divided on the accuracy and scientific basis of the volcano calendar. Proponents of the calendar claim that it's been an invaluable planning resource for countless generations. While detractors dismiss it as a bunch of meaningless nonsense carved on a wall by some vagabond. In any case, residents of the volcano always seem to avoid disaster somehow, whether or not they're expecting it. Okay, time to go to the volcano. So, through the forest, there's a path to go to the volcano. So now I actually need the forest again. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah, there was so much to do in the forest. Well, I won't rest until I get to the volcano. How about I check out whatever that thing is? Maybe that's a path towards the volcano? What is that thing? Hi-ho! Well, hello again. Nice to have you back in the forest. Don't mind me, I'm just hauling water, a strong job for the strongest messenger. 
The others are looking for Churb, but someone has to keep us all hydrated. Let me grab this and bring it with me. Maybe right there. Whoa! Ooh! <laughs> I control the trees! Volcano path is elsewhere. Maybe it's through these trees? Are there any other dense forests? Well, there's this. Let's go check on this first. It's a giant tile now. I love it. Huh? Cherb absent. But Vulture C. Northeast mother. With haste. So, oh, and Cherb will probably tell me where the volcano path is. Oh, there's... Ooh, a map piece. Very well. Okay, well, to the northeast I go. Oh, there you are. Hootie Tootie. Cherb, very glad to see you again. The Cherb has been hiding. Needed a break from watching Mother grow. She is very slow and very quiet. Tell Cherb of your travels. Have you visited other forests? Perhaps met someone who likes watching trees. Someone who needs a job. Hmm, the volcano? Cherb visited once when he was a sprout. Not sure how to get there, though. Hmm. Perhaps Cherb can ask the Wildwood. Old Watcher has been teaching Cherb a bit of tree tongue. Russell, 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 Russell. Russell, 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 Russell. The Wildwood says something about a bee and a witch. How exciting. Russell, 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 Russell. Ah, hmm, Cherb is still learning. They say a tree has an itch. Not sure what it means, but maybe you can scratch it. Cherb will draw you a reminder. A tree has an itch. <laughs> Must scratch the tree. Cherb suppose it's time to rejoin Mother now. Everyone can stop looking for Cherb. I will see you there. An itchy tree trying to scratch his back. So I have to use the back side of a tree. Well, maybe I could scratch Mother's back. Oh, well, maybe it's this tree. Mother was very understanding of Cherb's access. Yeah. Absence, did you find an itchy trees to scratch? I bet it looks just like Cherb's drawing. Oh, so it's not this tree. This is Mother. Medium-sized tree whose leaves have a strange yet familiar grow. So, look for the tree. Oh, yeah, you look itchy. You look very itchy. I will save your back yet. I got you. A small hole behind the tree, blocked by thick branches. They look like they're scratching. The branches blocking the hole are too heavy to move yourself. So I gotta get the strongest dude from over here, I suppose. Come help me, strong man. Hey, I'm in need of a back scratcher, but you're the closest thing I've got. The drawing tells me you must have found Chirp. I'd help you look for your tree, but I'm still gathering water. Whoo, it's a good thing I'm so strong, though my bear friend is even stronger. But don't tell him I to told you that. He'll never let me live it down. If you need any strong fellows, Bear and I are your guys. I'm a bit busy with this water, but he's having lunch with the old watcher near the campfire. Okay, campfire time. Ah, right here. I need your help, Bear. You got this, buddy. there. Thank you. What a friendly bear. I'm back in the underground. Need to get to the volcano. Let me, is it the white path? No, the white hole is where I came from. So this must be the volcano? Yes, it must be. Okay. Deeper we go. Whoo. Whole new map with a whole new path. Some text on the wall, but it's too dark to read. I need to get that... That light. So I may read the text. There we go. Spread the fire a little bit. Alright, what do you say? One, two, three, four, five. The mountain is alive. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. The mountain is alive. So this path looks like a two. This kind of looks like a three. No, that's reading into it way too much. There's no way. Oh, it's the number of lights. Oh my God, I solved it accidentally. It's the number of lights on each path. One, two, three, four, five. 
Well, even though I got it accidentally, I'm sure I was on the cusp of seeing it. I mean, yeah, considering I saw it right afterwards. On to the volcano. Ooh! <laughs> what was that? Great question. Is that a secret tunnel? Are you a guest? I have to tell Thumbo. Right. A rotting wooden chest. Maybe don't open it. Okay, fine. I guess I won't go snooping through your stuff. Right, how big is this world right now? Not too big. Soon to grow, I'm sure. A goat shape marking on the ground? Huh. Huh is right. Vel, hello there. Wow, Pinko wasn't kidding about a guest. Welcome to the world famous luxurious lava lodge. We have all manner of suburb facilities and the most scenic we use up of the volcano. <laughs> We're honored that you've chosen to stay with us. Ah, uh, that could not have gone better. What a great line of dialogue. We're usually quite full up with guests, but we can't seem to remember the rock blocking our entrance. It showed up during the last eruption just over there. We've tried pushing it, breaking it, calling it rude names, it refuses to move. Anyways, the first night is free of charge, I'll let my siblings know you're here, they run the lodge with me. Incredible. Welcome to the Volcano Lodge. Attention everyone, we have a guest staying with us tonight. Let's take excellent care of her. I guess we're still in the underground minecart lodge. Have a look around, just don't touch anything molten or bubbling. It is a volcano adjacent. I will try to be safe. So what is this new area? Well, it's got a hole. Tunnel down. Good day, ma'am. Please forgive my rudeness earlier. We just usually don't have guests. Well, it is hard to find. Arriving from our storage room, that is. But we're weary, I mean very happy to have you. If you need anything, my name is Pinko. I'm the youngest of the Palmer family. My siblings and I will make sure your stay is relaxing and comfortable. We'll also make sure that it contains an absolute minimum of lava-related injuries. May I give you a tour of our grounds? We're currently in our grand lobby, as you can see, and just below us you'll find our world-famous lava fountain. It's like a chocolate fountain, except full of chocolate is full of deadly face-melting lava. Please don't eat it! This takes me up. Don't forget to sample our glorious lava fountain before you move on. Okay, I'll sample the lava. I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm ready to die. Strong electromagnetic field underground, please avoid use of delicate instruments. Oh? So this won't connect, is what it's telling me. I have to turn this around. Wait, can I not rotate this? Am I using an electromagnetic instrument? Yeah, this is very strange. Do I have to control it from the above section? Do I have to, like, does, does this correlate with the area directly below it? So if I take this and then rotate it, like, maybe ooh, it would work. There's also that path that goes now to the left. Can I go there? It's a huge rock, it seems mildly offended. That has to be it, right? There's no other way to manipulate the underground. Hey, it works, let's go. Spectacular, isn't it? Guests travels from all over from to behold our lava fountain. But I just saw you up there, how did you? You know what, never mind. Some of them throw coins in and make a wish, but they usually just end up wishing they hadn't stood so close to the fountain. Oh sure, we have eruptions sometimes. It is an active volcano after all. But there's no need for concern, ma'am. We follow our volcano calendar very closely. We always take the necessary precautions and we're not due for any eruption anytime soon. Now that we all feel safe, let's continue the tour. I'm going to run ahead to make sure our geyser elevator is working. We weren't expecting a guest so soon. I'll meet you back in the grand lobby and we'll head to the kitchen next. Yum! Uh, so what is going on? Red hot magma? Why does it look so delicious? Because you haven't eaten anything all game. Please observe, ma'am. Keep your arms by your sides and simply step onto the elevator. Nice. Just like that. We've had minimal scaldings, I assure you. Well, this looks fun. Yeet. Alright, good times. Where am I? Okay, this is movable. It's its own place that doesn't really interact. I'll just 
attach the rock walls. Thing is, I need to find a piece of paper first. Hey, a piece of paper. What are these? There's hot bubbles. This I could interact with. Now, entering Bird Canyon, if you're lucky, you'll be able to witness our birds migrating. Okay, well, I got my paper. Time to attach. Seems good to me. There's another tunnel in this area with a huge steamy vent. Smells like cooking. This is another goat. Okay, I maybe have to connect the goats? Maybe this'll tell me more about what I have to do. This is our kitchen, also world famous, in which we prepare a variety of sumptuous dishes for our guests. You won't believe how few get sick. Click here. The middle is our head chef. She's a superb cook. Braised swamp yams, sour mountain nettles, crispy cactus loaves with goat butter. Minu is just ahead in the dining hall. I wonder what amazing dish she has in store for you. Okay, how do I want to arrange this? This should rotate clockwise once and be to the right of the thing below it. Cool mechanic. Test my memory a little bit more, but it's not that bad. Oh, wait a second though. If I take this and rotate it clockwise, this won't link up. So I have to link it up from the bottom, right? Because that was the other connection that I did manage to glimpse on. There we are. Hello, ma'am. You must be our special guest. I hope you're hungry, as I've already started preparing our most renowned dish. Ash smoked honeybird. Wow. You're right to gasp. Because we're out of season, the ash plumes are a bit unpredictable, so it may take longer than usual. We're at the mercy of the mountain, I'm afraid but it will be worth the wait. So the bird needs to be delivered. Is that my job, huh? I mean, I'm the guest. I, I guess it could become my job. Let me look at the underground again, see who I can all can- Whoa, it's the bird. Oh. Oh. A huge steamy vent smells like cooking. Okay, so the bird got delivered here, or from this direction. So I need to find some way to like stop it? Perhaps a rock wall. Would be the play? Well, wait, but it, now there's a bird symbol that's going up? Oh, but the ash had, Oh, the bird had gotten ashed. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually struggling to understand what the game is, like, trying to convey to me here. Don't head back to the lobby just yet. We'll have a delicious meal ready for you soon-ish. Okay, I'll deal with that bird. What? Did I just accidentally solve the puzzle? Maybe I just need to keep the bird on the screen for a while so it would get tired and fall. Or maybe I would have to have it pass over the fire multiple times. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, it may we just had to cook it multiple times. That's my best guess. I think the meal is cooked. I'll go down and check it out. Oh, yeah, there's the bird and a paper. Interesting. What an interesting little section so far. This one's definitely the trickiest. I got your bird. Wow, what a beauty. Guests don't usually catch their own dinner, but it's certainly faster. Thanks for the help. I can't wait to hear what you think. Have a seat, and I'll be right back with the rest of your meal. Okay. Sweet. Thanks to the mountain for this bounty. No thanks to me, I guess. Unless if they're calling me the mountain. I'll take it. Probably inaccurate compliment. Wait, what the? Interact? <laughs> I, my food. Are we... Wow, you ate 20 smoky birds. What can I say? I was super starving. So what'd you think? Yay, I'm so glad you liked it. I think that was our best bird yet. We can continue the tour shortly. I just need a moment to digest. I'll meet you at the guest rooms. So be it. Oh, I cannot interact with that. Okay, so I, I gotta get there from the below section. So let me see what it looks like underground. And then I can manipulate it. Okay, that makes sense. All I need to do then is grab this, bring it over here and rotate it once. Seems easy enough to me. Let me verify. Looks good. Time to see what the deal is with their goats. What? That's a lot of goats. Meh. The goats eye you creepily with their creepy eyes. And I can go up? Uh, cute goats. It was fun hanging out. I'll catch you later. Or does this take me back to the start? No, new area. I see a bed. Oh. Hey. Whew. Just a moment, ma'am. I didn't expect you to beat me here. 
I'd hate for you to get lost in our palatial estate. Anyways, welcome to your quarters. We've put you in the master suite, conveniently located directly above the hot spring. World famous both. My brothers Indo and Ringo are waiting nearby to assist you. The rocks? No, okay, they're people. <laughs> A stone slab covered in small stones and some bedding. A bed? Anyway, good day. Ah, uh, you must be our guest. I'm not sure how you made it here, but we're very happy to have you. You must be exhausted after exploring our many amenities. Would you like to rest briefly in our innovative slate bed? It's quite rejuvenating. Meh. A look of pure excitement if I've ever seen one. Please lie down and make yourself comfortable. Let the rocks work their magic. Ah, are you feeling its effects? What the? What, what are they putting in these rocks? Are these crack rocks? The rocks stimulate your pressure points, relieving tension and transferring their energy into you. Ah yes, stir up that hot lava within you. Let it flow into each of your limbs, warming your core and massaging your muscles. There's nothing else quite like it. <laughs> it can be a bit much for some guests, admittedly, but now you have the energy of the volcano coursing through you. The perfect time to enjoy our hot spring is just downstairs. Oh, there's another goat outline. Three of them now. At some point I'll have to combine them. A starting, startlingly lifelike carving of an ostrich. You mean an ostrich. You can't fool me. I know you're just hiding on the wall. Paper, sure. Hey, what's up? Burr. I apologize, ma'am. Our hot spring is currently neither hot nor a spring. It's more of a cold nothing, really. We're just waiting for the mountain. You know what they say? You can't rush warm water. All right, well, once again, I have to go above ground to actually manipulate. <laughs> Excuse me. Manipulate this, huh? Uh, yeah, this again. Won't know what it does until I go down. Feels like the normal game, but with extra, extra steps. So I come back up. I turn it around twice. And I send it. Don't know if I actually want it here, but maybe. I do. Well, what's up here? Another piece of paper. This may help. Hey, what's up? Hello, ma'am. This is our volcano calendar. Today's forecast says ashy with a chance of fireballs. Pleasant. Don't miss our hot spring. It's my favorite part of the lodge. We'll wrap up the tour once you're all warmed up. Ancient symbols hone in the rock. Oh, well, this lines up quite cleanly. Let's see what that is. And also, how does it function underground? I can connect to it both above and underground. Burr. Hmm, it looks like the water spout is clogged up there. We should be way more relaxed by now. Is that so? Beware of Whirlpool. Apologies if you've seen this sign too late. We should probably move the sign. So what's the deal with the springs up here? It's clogged, you're telling me? Oops, you kicked something loose. Nice. That was easy. Burr? Well, the spring has sprung, but the hot has yet to heat. Hmm, perhaps Thumbo knows what's wrong. Could you check with Thumbo in the grand lobby? I'm a little underdressed. That took a hot minute, but I've made it to the grand lobby. What's up, Thumbo? Welcome back. I've received word that the water in a hot sp spring isn't very welcome, isn't very welcoming at the moment, of course. My apologies, our heater must be malfunctioning. I hate to ask this of a guest, but could you have a look at it? They just can't do anything here, can they? You seem to have a good sense of how things fit together. Think of it as a secret extra tour. Wow. Unpaid, of course. You'll have to pay us, actually. I'll tell P Plinko, Pinko to take a goat and meet you there. Oh, our heater is located at the center of the volcano. It's only accessible via goat. You'll need this orange key to get the goat started. Just pop it in his mouth and hang on. Oh, a carrot. Back to the goats, I suppose. I've arrived at the goats. You'll do. Hi. It's time for a ride, buddy. Meh. Oh, nice, fast travel. Let's go to the volcano crater. Okay, good, I was uh, wondering when I'd have to stop walking around so much. Oh, and those are the transportation markers. It's, it, these are the bus stops. It all makes sense now. Thanks for helping out, ma'am. 
we're probably risking our lives, but you can't put a price on comfort. <laughs> Let's get that heater fixed. You should be prepared for anything down there, ma'am. Jesus Christ, I'm going above and beyond for these people. Fire golems, demonic goats, sentient lava, I've seen it all. Anyways, head on down and I'll read you instructions from up here. Alright. Okay, listen carefully. First, head to the big wall at the back. Do you see the three switches? Flip the one on the left. Now flip the one on the right. Now do a little dance. What? Just kidding. Head to the middle and put your hands on the wheel. Alright, you're going to need to turn it. First turn left twice. Turn right three times. Turn left twice. Turn right once. Nice. I, um... May have been reading the wrong set of instructions. Sounds like we fully rebooted this system. Maybe come back up quickly. What the hell? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, do I remember? It was like, left, I can't rotate this. Wait, yes I can. Left twice? Or you know what, what if I just keep spinning it? I've created a <laughs> twister. Oh god, it's gonna erupt. Oh! The volcano is going to e e I almost said erupt. Jesus, we have to get far away from it as possible. As he laughs. Alright, my time on the goats. Meh. What? Do I not have a carrot? I hope I'm alive to collect all the smoky birds after it blows. Oh, get far away from it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot I can do this. There. Ooh, okay. That was a big one. Whoa. So smoky. The hot spring is going to be hot. No deaths this time. These people are sick in the head. What is it with everyone I meet that's just <laughs> a deranged psycho? Well, I guess you know what they say. If you meet one deranged psycho, you've met a deranged psycho. If everyone you've met is a deranged psycho, then you're a deranged psycho. I guess that says a lot, really. All right, at least I get to relax in the hot springs and wash away all the traumas of the before times. So hot, so springy, I love it. Honestly makes me jealous. So relaxing that eruption inspired me. Blackened cave newt with fiery rock candy. All right, what else is there to do here? Ma'am, how did you like the tour? It was so great. Wonderful, remember to tell your friends how safe it was. Well, time to go to safety. To our esteemed guest, we've received the package for you. Please pick it up in the grand lobby when you check out. All right, I got a package. There you are. This arrives for you. Oh, another note. My carto, did you see that eruption? What a sight. I just barely escaped. The volcano seemed to move at the last moment. How fortunate. Or perhaps you're getting better with your map, you clever girl. The smoke is making it a bit hard to navigate, and my engine is close to overheating. There's an iceberg at the edge of the world. I'm going to swim, swing by to cool things down, and let the skies clear. Meet me there if you can. Oh my god, she's been reading those flat earth forums. Well, let's go find Granny. Unless if you have something else to say. Haha, -ha, good news, I hope. We have some good news of our own. Oh, do I leave on the minecart? The rock is gone from our entrance. The eruption must have shaken it loose. I'm sure we'll be swarming with guests in, the, in no time. Hope to see you again, young woman. Tell your friends. Later. Well, that wasn't stressful. Now I... Whoa, I'm here again. It all just keeps coming back, huh? This is the... It's just the main hub now. Let's go check out the story tender. Cardo, hi. I'm so glad you're back. I could really use your help. I'm just, I'm feeling a little homesick. I thought I'd feel better if I could read about my island, maybe even find a way to sail back, but I can't find any books about it. Story tender said he'd help me, but I think he forgot. I didn't forget you, whippersnapper. I've just been busy cleaning up downstairs. Someone made a proper mess while rif rifling through our connection collection. I'm sure she didn't mean whomever it was. She was just eager and inconsiderate. 
Well, if you girls can get things squared away downstairs, I'll have some more time to help. I can look through our files and let you know what I find. Of course, we can do that. Um, can we do that, Cardo? Please? You're so good at arranging things. Hooray! Okay, we're in. Just show us what to do. You know, this all sounds so similar to the book I'm reading right now. No matter, follow me downstairs. I'm sure this one's just a coincidence. I got most of the books put away, but these boxes need to be moved. This is a tower of... I don't know how to pronounce this word. Tower of Hanawai? The vibes I'm getting right now. Can you transfer them from the left mat to the right mat? Just make sure to keep small boxes on top of bigger ones so that nothing gets crushed. I'll be at the front counter looking through our files for your sailing book. Just let me know when you're done. Thanks, girls. A classic puzzle type. I wonder how challenging they're going to make it. Well, this one's quite simple, isn't it? Just two boxes. Real tricky one, that. All right, I've done it. That was easy. Mm hmm? Finished already? Let me have a look. Fine box work, that. The next bash, batch is ready for you. It's a shade trickier. Thanks. It is a bit trickier. Okay, how does this work now? What? Okay, because it's an even number of boxes, the first box needs to go here, so the second box can go here, and then I can save the space for the third box, and now I can do the adjustment to get over everything onto the third box, and now I can move the fourth box all the way over to the right, and because it's an odd number of boxes, I've got to move it to where I eventually want to go at the end, and then the second box will come over here, and then the top box will make it over, and then it's basically the puzzle we had the first time. You catch all that? It's a classic puzzle type. Once you, once you get the trick, you kind of get the idea. It's fun. I like puzzles. Another batch done, let me see. Is there a third one? Impressive, impressive, I just need your help on one last batch. I'm almost done searching my files for your sailing book. Oh my god, if it's six high. Wait, what? Is this a multi-room one? <laughs> Eat my ass. There, it's on the right side. I've done it. Hmm? What? I thought you'd be at it for days. I have to see this for myself. You should get an achievement if you actually solve that the long way. Things are looking tidy indeed. You girls are a godsend. I found the sailing book your friend was looking for. It's in the island wing. I think she's already there. There's so much about the culture of my island here. And some of our traditions happen on other islands too. I always thought it was just us. Come sail away. There's a reason why people of a certain tribe can never return home after they sail for their coming of age. It used to be that some who left would try to sail home only to be thwarted by the ocean or bad weather. Their families would never know the truth of what happened or assume they didn't want to visit. By following this new tradition, parents can better prepare for the pain of never seeing their children again. It will never be easy, but they'll know what to expect, a tough but needed tradition. Well, uh, dirt of luck, I, well, let's check all this out. Spending their days living within and full of soil, most earthworms are expert on the matter. It is said that if you give soil to a worm, they can point towards its source. Though not all worms are created equal, and some are more accurate than others. Many have been led astray by an eager, over-eager yet unskilled worm. This reads like a monster's expedition. It's so good. Uh, but for those looking for a little help finding their way home, the right worm can be an invaluable companion. What? Look at this. There's a way to navigate the ocean using soil from your destination? Oh, I didn't expect that to actually be relevant. I'm glad we grabbed some before we left. Now we just need a worm to sniff it out. I kept them in my pocket. You've had a worm on you this whole time? Gross, but also yay. We have everything we need, I think it's time to sail back. I know I'm not supposed to, but I just need to see everyone even from afar. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kartu. I was so wrapped up in my own feelings, I didn't even ask about yours. Did you find out anything about your granny? How is the volcano? Oh, a letter from your granny. May I read it? I'm so glad she's safe, and she wants to meet you on an iceberg. Hmm. My people have spoken of such a place near the edge of the world. I don't know how to get there, but perhaps they do. We're already headed back to the island, so we can find out more there. You can ask around, and I'll do some snooping. What do you say, Kartu? Will you come back to my island with me? Great, let's get back to the boat. What else is there? Luak's lifelong legend. 
The legend of the seventh ice iceberg has been passed down for countless generations. What was once an ancient document lives on only in story, recounted by the archaeologist Luak to whoever will listen. The story says that the iceberg contains a treasure to improve the lives of all people living at the edge of the world. Legend though it might be, Luak has de dedicated his existence to finding the treasure, never giving up hope ever-shifting icebergs. Not only is iceberg dwelling a demanding lifestyle choice, but an entirely unpredictable one. Running into a friend might be the last time you see them for a while if the icebergs don't drift together again. Residents install supply boxes of essential tools and food, sea pickles, on every iceberg in case anyone were to get stranded. Let's cruise! You take the soil, I'll take the sail, and we'll keep a close eye on your worm buddy. Shannon and Cardo, back on the high seas. Oh boy. It's so good to be sailing again. I don't think your map will help us this time. What's that worm up to? He's pointing southeast. Okay. Sue. Can do Captain Cardo. Getting kind of foggy. He's pointing down. What does your worm have to say for itself? Go south. That doesn't feel right, but I'll give it a shot. It's always where you least expect it. We may have to pay closer attention to that worm. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, so it actually, this is a multi-step worm. Well, it's making an N, I guess that could be it. Wants this to go north. What does your worm have to say for itself? Can do Captain Cardo. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it made a letter, the worm is literate. We made it, that's my island all right. Who's that out there? You girls look familiar. We're just mermaids, sir. You've never seen this before. Oh, well, that makes sense. Carry on, then. Whew, that was close. Okay, now we just need to get past the reef. Any tips? Okay, uh, let's see what the worm has to say. Okay, the worm is split up. It might be 11 o'clock. Because it was, it was making two ones. That's 11. Can do, Captain. It looks like it goes right into the reef, but what do I know? We're in the lake? Okay, now this is just ridiculous. Well, um, how do we wrap this up? Okay, so there's seven o'clock. There's clockwise then straight. Something to do with a hook or all of the above. I'm just gonna guess all of the above. Just, <laughs> just cause it started this way. Sail to seven o'clock, then turn clockwise, go straight, then and throw the hook. Welp, it's worth a try. Whenever you see all of the the above, you select all of the above, in school and outside of school. I'm not sure how that worked, but we made it. Great job, everyone. I can't believe we're really back here. You and your squirmy friend are quite the team. Cardo and Earthworm Wriggles. Cardo and Wriggles. Okay, let's split up and look for clues to the iceberg. We can meet back here when we have some info. I'm going to stay out of sight since I'm not supposed to be back here. I know it's just a tradition, but it is important to my family. See you back here in a bit, Cardo. I'm uh, sure I have map controls now. Right, it's the whole original island, but there's this. Looks like I'm gonna be working with the the fat river here. Well, the setup like this, I'm sure we're due to find something. Hey, what's up? Ahem. Hey kid, you're back. Is Shinan with you? Of course she isn't, dear. You know the tradition. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, please give her a big Blair hug. If you see her, we miss her dearly. Have you traveled back here for the fishing festival? It only happens a few times a month and we have a competition there. I'm happy to loan you a rod and bobber in case the mood strikes you. Well, thanks for the consideration. I'm mostly here for an iceberg. Okay, there's no pick upables. Oh wait, there's this. I guess I can cap it all off. I have a better idea for a shape. Perfect. The only thing that looks weird is this part. Like it's a clearly different colored water. I'm gonna maybe go around and talk to some of the other people, see if I can figure out like a goal. Ahoy. Little one, I hope your travels have treated you well. Yet again, your timing is fortunate for our fishing festival is upon us. I call it a fish festival, but don't tell my wife. Ugh. Anyways, the fish festival will be held nearby at Big Fish Lock. We'll have a fishing competition and outsiders are always welcome, but I made Big Fish Lock. Or maybe it was Big Something Else Lock. Eh, who's the saying, really? <laughs> it was Big Fish Cock is what it was. They won't let me enter since I'm a fisherman by trade. But that means I get to be the host. What an honor. Hmm. Oh, hello again. 
I trust your travels have been fruitful. Have you encountered our dearest son, perchance? I'm sorry, no. I suppose chances were slim. I bet it was possible to find him. Then I could have bonded with these people. Besides, last we heard from him, he was headed to the end of the world. Oh, never mind. We'll see him later. But that was many years ago. I hope he brought something warm to wear. Ooh. Do you like cold weather? I'm told it builds character. I think she'd like to visit there, love. I recognize the twinkle in her eye. Our son had it too, the look of adventure. Well, a good map of the ocean might lead you there. And it just so happens I donated one as a prize in the fishing festival. You just have to find all of the lost fish and lead them home to your net. I feel like you'll be good at that for some reason. Best of luck at the festival. I'll be rooting for you to win that ocean map. Okay, well first I have to make big fish a lock. Or I could go talk to Sheehanan. Okay, I'm talking to Sheehanan first. Hey! Was that from my dad? You know it. I really miss everyone, but I'm glad I got to see them from afar at least. Okay, so... To find your granny, we need to get to the iceberg. To find the iceberg, we get need an ocean map. And to get an ocean map, we need to win the competition at the fishing festival, right? Yeah. Well, we know the plan. Let's get fishing. The festival takes place in Big Fish Lock nearby. So biggest lock or lake. Probably guess what it's shaped like. Hmm, I still don't want anyone to recognize me, though. Oh, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Please don't merge with a beard. Hey! Hi, Cardo. I'm Rianan. Ha, he, he. There's no way they'll recognize me now. I'm ready to go. All right, it's time to construct the fish. Well, frankly, I don't see why my previous setup wouldn't have worked. Maybe it was just before it's time. Now, it, it accepts that. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we all love a floppy fish. Is everyone in position? Oh boy, fishing minigame. No game would be complete without one. We have two outsiders in the competition this time. Very exciting. Best of luck to you, Rianan and friend. Once you ex experience the first competition, you may be hooked. And don't worry, our prizes are safely locked away. Ha. Our rules are the same as always. First one to collect every type of fish wins. Let's begin. My dad gave us a couple fishing rods to use this once for you. He didn't even notice it was me when he handed them over. Heh. Nice. So, wonderful day we're having. No fish biting right now. I always forget how relaxing this is. Even when the stakes are high, it's nice to just slow down. I remember when my dad taught me to fish. He never caught anything himself, so I'd throw back any fish I caught before he saw them. I didn't want to make him feel bad. All right, well, I'm gonna find a different area to fish, since clearly that one's just bad. No fish biting right now, what? Okay, I gotta figure out how to make the fish bite. Maybe if I talk to other people, or maybe I just need to be patient. My husband says that fishing is a game of strength, but I don't think he's ever won that particular game. I think fishing is all about reading the lake. Just picture the fish you wanna catch and go for it. If that is what needs to be done, what I will do is I will stand in the land of the fish's head and start on a journey. What about the small fish with the different tail? <gasps> it exists! Caught a, a secret piece one, a mysterious object. Who knows what it might do? Caught a puzzle piece or a secret. I'm not sure. Okay, what if I have like a... A split fish right here. You know, a, a tea fish. A very real fish that definitely exists. Nothing. Maybe I should learn a little more. Fish, 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 fish. There are four types of fish in this lake. I drew them for you. Oh, thank you. Turns out there was more that I needed to know. Well, at least I found the secret fish. Don't show anyone else. It's a secret and you have to give it back after the competition. Okay, back to the head, because the head's in every piece. So, one looks like... kind of like... this, I think? Is, is that right? The waters are stirring, okay. Yeah, that's one of them. I caught a green glover. Alright, next fish. Alright, I'll make the one that looks like it has feet now in the bottom left. Looks something like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Caught a carp diem. 
Seize the fish. I'll make the top right one next. No, I'll make the bottom right one next. Why? Because I want to. Uh, this was definitely it. Give me that fish. Ooh, that's a nice cast. With a cast like that, you can't miss. Caught a blue bandit. All right, final one. Okay. Let's get making. The waters are stern. Got a Milko's Goby. Got him. Mm, it seems someone may have caught all the fish types. Come turn in your catch and let me check. Okay. Let me take a look at these fish. Hmm, they're indeed from this lock and one of each type. The winner of the competition is Rhiannon and her friend. The prize is yours. Did Rhiannon didn't do shit? But hey, a win is a win. It's a team thing. It's been great seeing you again, kid. But I imagine you have other islands to visit. Especially with that fancy new ocean map you won. I have so much I want to ask you about Shinan, but I suppose her life is her own now. Tell me though, is she well? Is she happy? Yep. Uh, that puts my mind at ease. Thank you for being such a good friend to her. You're welcome back anytime. And you too, Rhiannon. Quite some fishing skills you displayed as well. You must have grown up on an island. Might I ask which one? Looks like you guys are eager to find your next port of call. I don't blame you as a big ocean out there. The sea will bring us together again, if it wills it. Farewell. Hey, Cardo. Thanks for doing that with me. I was really happy to see that my parents and everyone else were doing well. Even if my dad still catch, can't catch a fish to save his life. He helped me get home and reunite with my people. And now it's time for me to help you do the same. We're going to find your granny, I just know it. To the edge of the world, Iceberg Ahoy. We made it. Wow, it's so beautiful here. I've never seen snow like this before. It's so peaceful and so cold. I'd better keep the boat moving before it freezes in the ice. If you want to start looking for your granny, I'll come find you once I've, once I've found a safe place to dock. All right. Humdi dum. I came here to gather food, but didn't expect to gather a new friend too. You don't look nearly warm enough, little snowflake. Please take my scarf to keep you toasty. Nice, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I have plenty more where that came from. We all need to support each other to live in a harsh place like this. You look like you traveled a long way to get here. I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. All right, four map pieces so far. And here's my fifth one. I wonder what the gimmick is of this. Oh, wait a second. It's one giant map piece. And the new map piece is a Tetris map piece. Well, I found the gimmick. The hard part is getting it all to connect. You can still rotate this whole thing, like so. Can I even get over to the right side? No, it's a giant rock barrier. There's another- what? A decaying wooden bridge. It doesn't look safe to cross. It's just a small gap. Jump. So I need to find another way across then, so maybe... Well, I can connect this here. Finally, I can talk to the dude. This is- I, I, I'm not too much of a Tetris wizard. Good tidings. It's nice to see a new face, though I'm afraid you've caught me in a bit of a pickle. Funniest shit I've ever seen. You seem to have left your backpack behind while I was eating lunch, pickles and all. It was I was on the other side of the mountains across the bridge. But now I need the uh, tools in my backpack to fix the bridge and... Well, you can see the pickle. Uh, so this bridge is also out. I see where the backpack is. Well, this is a pretty good connection, huh? Here's his stuff. Oh, and here's the actual backpack. Nice. Well, I we can cross this bridge now. You did it, you clever Cornichen. Now, let me just grab my tools and fix the bridge. Ah. Ah, of course, yes. Good as new. Or at least not so old. Ever since the goats migrated to warmer pastures, we've, been, we've had a dill of a time getting over the mountains. So these bridges have become our lifelines. I need to tend to the other bridges, but I owe you a gherkin. Okay, so apparently the other bridge is getting taken care of. Well, I suppose what I can do is from here, at least I can just go to the other side of the bridge. Very nice. So it's not even like I need to fix it in the first place. Well, what is this? Okay, is some water? Let me set this up here. Like this. Yeah, I love how well this mechanic is branched out. 
Regardless of what you think of the, the game's difficulty, you can't deny that there's some creative sons of bitches. Caution, slippery ice ahead. Well, here we go. Okay, just gotta slide across the ice. Oh, but I can only get so far. So I gotta link this up to something else. Well, what gives? It can only link to a very specific type and the only other place it exists is on its own tile. All right, so I need to go back across the bridge then. And now that I'm across the bridge, what I can do is just transport over to this island, the S piece island, because now the S piece should be able to wedge me right in this Z piece at the lake with the paper, very nice. Hello there. You must be the newcomer. Word travels fast around here. Unlike our icebergs. You see, our icebergs actually move pretty slowly. They separate and drift around, sometimes for a few hours and other times for days. And they always drift back together in a different shape. Luax says there are seven icebergs, but we've only counted six. I think I'm at four now. But he's a great archaeologist and a keen survivalist, so I believe him. We all chip in around here. Tekok prepares us from the or protects us from the ice beasts. Lucy made this jaunty shirt out of pine needles and furs, and I've sailed the entire ocean so I helped track the movement of the icebergs. I'm sure you'll figure out your role if you decide to stick around. How about this new piece? It's a square piece? Oh, I see a new river. This is probably the entrance, eh? I guess I gotta go back. I know how to get there. Snugly in this spot so I can go sliding again. We Damn it. This isn't what I was hoping for. Well, wait, 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 wait. No, no, it might still work because now that I'm here, what I can do because I'm on this separate piece is use this other part of the T. Or not the T, the S. Because I have not encountered this just yet. Rotate this about... Maybe like that. Okay, it's a corner slide. Then here I gotta actually find my way through. Great. Well, maybe if from here, what I can do is adjust this, rotate it, rotate it, place it there, and now slide. No, that just gives me a dead end. I zoom out anymore? Well, I can zigzag around here and then come back to this other part, and that should lead me in. Fun. Whoa. Yeah. Huh? You're not an ice beast. You're not a beast at all. Whew. I almost soiled my furs. You look like you've been jostled around by a beast, though. Hold still for a moment. Let me bandage you. Have you heard Luak's legend yet? He's our leader and a renowned adventurer. He says that one day we'll find a precious treasure on the Fable 7th Iceberg. Treasure hunters travel great distances when they hear our legend, but most lose help after a time and leave the iceberg. I suppose those of us left still hold some hope in our hearts. Is the legend what brought you here, young traveler? Nope. I see. Treasure means something different to us all. I'm sure you'll find yours. Me, I'm hoping for some help with my hunting. My spear is getting blunt from all the ice beats I'm battling or doodling in the ice while I keep watch for them. While well, you're all bandaged up, stay cozy out there. Very nice. Dum-dee-dee. -dee. I hope you're enjoying the scarf. How do you like my new one? I knitted it together just now. It's nice. Oh, it's just how I contribute to the community. Everyone finds a way. As for your contribution, well, I can see that you have an amazing sense of direction and never seem to be lost. Hmm, perhaps you can help Luak on his treasure hunt. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. What do you think the treasure could be? Me, I'm hoping for a material of impossible warmth. Even with these gloves, my hand, hands keep going numb while I'm knitting. That's a kind of a tall person problem. Hands and feet just go cold no matter what you do. I gotta have super socks to get myself warm. Huello, we meet again. And wouldn't you know it, I just gave away my last pickle. Ugh. Darn. By way of apology, let me tell you about this base we're in. It connects the various biomes of the iceberg, one beyond each gate. So regardless of where the icebergs drift to, we can easily connect to them. How's that for some ice-cold facts? It's often easier to get around if you start from this base, good luck. And then, ah, it's locked from the other side. Are they all locked from the other side? No, this one's open. So I can get to this biome. What about this? Classic. Okay, so there's only one type of biome. I can't quite access yet. Oh, I've got a new piece. 
Surely this will help. Oh, interesting. How very, very interesting. Time to cross that bridge I see up ahead. Oh, it's almost impossible to see. Oh, that's not dangerous, not in the slightest. There could be a piece of paper and I wouldn't even notice it. Well, at least I can go to the other side of that gate, but first, what are you up to? Hello again. I'm impressed you made it here. I thought only Luwak dared navigate the foggy narrows. Sometimes he joins me here to study the old lighthouse. He thinks it might be related to the seventh iceberg since we're too far out for most boats. I can't navigate the fog myself, so I usually drift over on an ice floe. I've been studying the patterns of the currents ever since I arrived here. Just today I found this beautiful piece of paper washed to shore. Perhaps you can make use of it. Wow, thanks! I've been trying to float a message bag to my home island for years. I left there more than a decade ago, but I miss my people sometimes. Wait, he's got a blue coat! Oh my god, it's the sun! They have a rule where you can never return once you sail for your coming of age. Wow! This wooden boat, I don't believe it. I'd recognize this carving work anywhere. My mother made this. Did you visit my home island? Did she send this along for me? This means the world. Thank you dearly. Although I can't see my parents again, knowing they still think of me too. Well, it warms my heart even in this frigid place. I don't know what uh, great stroke of fortune brought us together, newcomer, but thank you. I now have six pieces. I've got... An S piece, a Z piece, a T piece, a square piece, and two L pieces. All I need is the long Tetris combo innator. But first, a little trip to open this gate. There we are. Do do do. Uh, are you looking for Luak? Last I saw him, he was headed towards the ancient monolith. He always comes back from there brimming with new ideas. I wouldn't recommend following him though. It's just next to the windy woods, they'll blow you right over. Well, first let me check out this new piece. Oh, yeah, okay, that's just where he is, simple. Right, so let me get this out of the way, and then connect to him quite simply, and see what he's up to. Hmm, I've been so busy fixing bridges that I must have neglected the monolith. I don't usually let the snow pile up like this, and wouldn't you know it, I left my backpack of tools with my afternoon tea. I know I wasn't even good for a measly pickle last time, but could you possibly grab my backpack from the windy woods nearby? The weather picked up just as I finished and I couldn't even stand up. But you seem to make it here just fine. What do you say? Help an old man out again? Was that just across this bridge, hmm? Oh yeah, it is. So, I can't even cross because of the wind. So I almost need to tilt so that the wind is pushing me up. Yep. All right, what am I looking for? It's the sack! Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Well, turn it around. Get it! Whoo, nailed it! Ah, that's not so bad. Oh! You found my backpack, my thanks. Just as soon as I brine some more pickles, they shall be yours, I promise. In the meantime, I just need a moment to clear the snow off the monolith. Oh, huh. Back to its glorious self, do you see the patterns? Many icebergs ago, our ancestors had to abandon this place. The climate had changed and become inhospitable. It's said that they left the treasure behind, one of impossible value and use. My people found our way back here and found new ways to survive. I've been looking for the treasure ever since. I still believe that we'll find it when we find the fabled seventh iceberg. When I don't know where to look next, I come to this monolith for inspiration. I feel as if these patterns left by our ancestors are a clue. Each side of the model ha has a different pattern. Perhaps you can make sense of them. It's got three mysterious patterns. So this is one of them. And then I could probably rotate the island so I can see another side. All right, so these are the different Tetris pieces. I mean, I recognize these pieces. So that three sides with two pieces each, that's six pieces. Well, this is different. Okay, I need to get the three goals, like it's gonna light up once I've completed one of them. So the third clue is here. Third clue is here, I see now. So which one am I on currently? I will set up the Z piece and the T piece. It was like this. So I should be, I should have gotten one of them right? Well, it doesn't quite tell me. What else could I do? Because this doesn't line up. Let me try messing around a little bit. Hold on. I got one. 
I mean, this is the one that makes the most sense. I don't know how the other ones were not correct. Like, for it to work, this would have to fit in there. Maybe there's another way? Like that. Okay. So then these two have to connect somehow. Okay, so this is supposed to have this formation. And that fits in right there. Oh, very well. Wait, now this is glowing. Hold on. Hold on. Dude must be losing his mind right now. Like, how is this happening? Do I follow the beam now? Where are you going? This is a rare and precious moment. Those patterns on the model are so glorious and so different from every angle. Okay, I guess fine. So different from every angle. Oh, so I gotta piece it all together now. Get the whole big beam going. Oh, and I see the goal now. And I've gotta bounce it off the wall, so I have to almost imagine. Well, maybe I can rotate them now. Maybe that's allowed? Yeah, like that. It's certainly legal, just not easy. Well, who says I even have to connect it here? It's just gotta connect at some point. How about here across the water? I should probably be working backwards in all honesty, but this feels kind of close. Because here it's actually on the right biome now. So line you up right here. And now it's just got to get into here. So it's close. All right, that lines up is so close. Actually, can't they just send it across the water like this? Oh yeah, that works, huh? That's a short path. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we found it, the long piece. That rumbling, could it be? Could it be indeed? Oh my God, you can even see the treasure. I need to get back to the fast transport area. Okay, it's all connected. Time to get moving. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, oh my. You did it, you found the seventh iceberg. And here's our ancestor's treasure, treasure just as I theorized. I'm sorry for running off on you, I just had to see it for myself once the iceberg surfaced. I've been searching for so long, I can't believe the day has come. The seventh iceberg. I can't believe I'm actually standing on it. What an iceberg. I don't know what you did, newcomer, but you seem to be making everyone's day. Time to open the treasure. Everyone, please stand back. We don't know what awaits us within. Here we go. It's puppies. Why would you put those in a box? What is wrong with you? Husky dogs, our ancestors left us huskies. Well, they better have left air holes too. I mean, I guess they must have considering it worked, but you'll just put puppies in a box. They're perfect. We have to keep them warm. The poor things. We must protect them. Hide, die for them. Anything else warm we can add? Yeah, that's great. Now let's get them back to the base. Shannon, Ricardo. Oh, sorry to interrupt whatever this is. I was sailing nearby when this iceberg surfaced from below and grounded the boat. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Phew. Hi everyone, I'm Cardo's friend. It looks like you're pretty busy. Anything I can help with. Good timing, friend. We need to bring these sleepy pooches back to our base. You're very welcome to join us. That is just adorable. Another note from Granny? Cardo, my treasure. I just saw you down below. Did you see your granny? I was all set to scoop you up in the airship after she cooled off, but the old gal wasn't happy when I dipped below the clouds. I don't think I can risk landing there. I'll need to meet you somewhere above the clouds. Find the tallest place you can, and I'll find you there. It's a promise this time. I can't wait to hold you in my arms. We have so much more to explore together. Love, Granny. Uh, how do I get high? My, my. I can't believe little Sheehanan is near here, too. She was just a child when I sailed, and now she's on her own coming-of-age journey. She's told me so many stories about her people, it fills me with joy. You've done so much for me, but I have one last favor to ask. When you sail, will you please drop this near the shore of our island on your way? My parents will surely find it, and I know they'll be glad to hear from me. Nice. Adorable. They should keep them warm enough. We're letting them wake up naturally, they must have been asleep for ages. It looks like I got my hunting help after all. I just have to wait until these pups grow a little bigger. Your days are outnumbered, ice beasts. They're wonderful. 
I already started knitting them some clothes, six sets of everything. A little socks, little scarves, maybe some little hats. I'm sure they'll start shedding too, and nothing is warmer than husky fur gloves. Ah, uh, that is a little bit more humane than what I was thinking. Looks like I got my wish after all. Right, how do I get to the big mountain? Oh, well the lighthouse is the highest point they can think of, huh? Even looks like it's operational now. Here I am at the lighthouse. Is light is illuminating? Is relit by an ancient power? What? Never mind, I guess I do need to climb a mountain. What is this? It's missing that final touch. Can I build the snowman? And then climb it. I've gotta get to the highest point. Now that could mean two- Oh, wait a second. This is a snowman head. Wait a second. Maybe this is my way. Got you. Is missing that final touch. Another snowball must be found. Oh? Oh yeah? Still missing that final touch. He's a hat. I'm gonna keep it honest. I have no idea where this hat is. If I slide across the ice, I may find something. I mean, I guess a big maybe for me. Who's to say? Wow, there's the hat. Maybe? Oh? Made it to the hat? Let's go. Got it, buddy, just for you. Oh, it's just another secret. Okay, so I missed out on four secret pieces. Now I gotta figure out how to actually get to Granny then. Find the tallest place you can, but it's all flat. Wait a second, I could give her the note? While your Granny was so close to us, hmm, we need to beat her above the clouds, huh? Nowhere jumps to mind, but let's head back to the story chalet and do some research. I spent 20 minutes looking for something that was above the clouds here. I had to go back to the story chalet? Oh my god, okay, fine. <laughs> oh my god, All right, back to the ocean. I hope the story tender knows somewhere we can get above the clouds. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'm so salty about that. Welcome back, girls. It's always nice to see you. How can I help? We need to get above the clouds since Cardo's granny can't land her airship. Who's what can't land there, huh? Sorry, it's a long story. Maybe you'll read about it one day. Do you know of anywhere that's tall enough that we can get above the clouds? Hmm. Actually, the top of the story chalet goes pretty high up, but it's just a small house. It might appear that way, but you'd be surprised. I once found myself on the very top floor. There were no books up there, but the view was breathtaking. Wow, okay, can you show us how to get up there? I'd be happy to, young miss, but I haven't reached the top floor again since. This can be a complicated place, I'm afraid. Though I can show you what I know, please follow me. Ah, here we are. This looks more like the basement than the top floor. Yes, yes, it's just the basement, but let me regale you a moment. It was a normal morning many moons ago when I was doing my rounds of the chalet, reading the new chapters, feeding the spiders, that sort of thing. I was still half asleep and wandered into a door I didn't recognize. Before I knew it, I was rocketing upward and it spilled me out on the top floor. That sounds more like a dream you had. It's always a possibility, but I spent the entire day up there and my sunburn was very real. I had the most glorious views of the forest that had never been so high up. I'd hoped to find my way back there ever since. With the smarts on you gals, I bet we could figure out how. I'm not sure that story quite set up, but it's the only lead we have. Let's look around and see what we can find, Cardo. Well, the door was allegedly in this room, but the clues can be anywhere. Apparently, the door is in this room. What if I just, like, stack them all up and place us in, like, floor eight? Here we go. All the way up the elevator. Eighth floor. Now, where was that door? Okay, they're looking for a door. Um, the door is supposed to be in this room, so traveling over here probably won't do me too much, huh? There's a book over here I haven't read. The ups and downs of the story chalet. A rarely seen door allowed a scant few story tenders access to the observation deck. Someone scrawled a message across the page. The top floor is real and I found the way there. I don't have enough space to fully explain, but this should get you started. Okay, Vermont. Good luck, future story tenders. A small scroll of paper flutters down. Oh? Oh! It requires a specific setup of the rooms. Well, let me try setting this arrangement up, huh? So the thing is, only a few, select few are actually filled in. 
slowly working on this. This looks right. This looks actually possible. I believe the door room is where it is. I believe the hills are where they are, or in the correct spot. Yes, both of these are correct. Now, what I don't know is if I can access this top section. I mean, I could just test. Oh, no, I can't. Well, if I maybe swap two of these around. I place this here. Oh, because that has two doors and this has one door. So maybe this works. But now I can't get all the way up. Oh, I see a strange door down here. Oh, wait a second. No, that's supposed to be for the stairs. This is receiving the stairs and this is here. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We found the secret door. When entered, it pleased the Lord. Right in this room, hallelujah. Let's check it out. To the observation deck and granny. Come on, Cardo. Let go. A blinding view of a tree. Whoa, I've never been this high up. It kind of looks like we're on the ground floor. Is anyone else dizzy? Mine's just as magnificent as I remember. And would you get a load of that tree? Though I'm sorry, girls, it looks like we're still below the clouds even up here. What about this lever? Don't worry, Carter, we just need to get a bit higher. How about on top of that enormous tree? It's hard to tell, but it looks like it goes even higher up than where we are now. Oh, the lever is probably just for the elevator, huh? And maybe it's still growing. I'd say it's worth a try. I'm going to stay here and enjoy the view for a bit. Who knows when I'll find my way up here again. Thanks for the help, Mr. Storytender. Come on, Cardo, let's make like a tree and visit that tree. Dude, I want to stay here though, this area is sweet. Although we're just surrounded by typewriter ink. With different moods and tones and all that. Yeah, let's head to the tree. Best luck on your journey, girls, and thank you for helping me find this place. I'll never forget it again. Time for some elevator action. Do I- Oh! It's the mother tree. Welcome, beardless messengers. Mother's been expecting you. She told me to gather everyone here that the time for family has come. Ooh. Mother says to thank you for her your help in her rebirth. And now it's time for her to help you. You may enter her embrace. Dude, the whole gang's here, even the bear. Lend mother the energy of the land and she will take you where you want to go. This place is so cool, Cardo. Are these your friends? They look pretty tough. Roar. Yeah. We better head inside that tree. You coming? You ready to head up? This is so exciting. Let go. To the tree tops. Whoa. Oh my. Is that my island in the distance? Check out this view, Cardo. Oh, we are above the clouds. Unreal. Are we finally high up enough? It looks like the clouds are still above us. Excuse me? Mm, let's have a look around. Maybe we can spot somewhere even taller than this. You can see the whole world from up here. Almost looks like a map. Oh, what are you doing? This is so exciting. You're holding such big pieces of the map. Yeah. Are you putting everything together? Connect every piece of the map. Okay, well, that's not too hard. The final piece is of the utmost importance that we maintain the shape of the fish. This looks like a pretty good map. That was my island way out there. Wow. Oh, we're going through everything, everything. Oh, I can make a little connection here. If I want, I could make like the perfect map. Although I'm kind of more interested in seeing the ending, so I'm just kind of rushing to that right now. That's the grassland we first sailed to. It feels like forever ago. Oh, this one's gonna suck. Okay, one last piece. Here seems pretty good. That's a nice map. That's the forest all around us. Hmm, do you feel that rumbling? 
list this area. Thankfully, this area is pretty easy. Or is it? No, it is. The Story Chalet. Hi, Mr. Storytender. Well, this one's easy. This one actually makes a rectangle. Wow. That's a proper map. Is that the desert you travel to? It's enormous. Enormous. Oh, the volcano. Okay, this, this can attach the things. There it all goes. The volcano, but that rumbling is getting stronger. Is it going to erupt again? Uh, this area shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. There we all go. Wonderful Tetris piece land. I really miss those iceberg pups, but Carno, that rumbling is getting serious. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Hold on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we grew big. You did it, Carta. We're above the clouds. Can you see your granny? She must be close by. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There she is. Well, there we go. Granny. Cardo, my sweet. Who's piloting the blimp? I knew we'd find each other, dear girl. It was only a matter of time. Or should I say, a mapper. You've been so resourceful to track me here, and you found all the pieces of our map. A true master cartographer, just like your granny. And who's your companion? Hello, ma'am, I'm Shianan. I would like to say I've heard so much about you, but Cardo is a little on the quiet side. She's the best, though. She's taught me so many things, and we've been to so many cool places, and, and, and. I want to hear all about them, child. But now that we're all together, why don't you show me a few firsthand? We can take the airship, and we'll use the map the girls recovered. You can introduce me to some of your new friends and take me to your favorite spots. Shianan? Thanks, I'd love to join. Lead the way, Cardo. Well, isn't that lovely? Well, that's Cardo. There we go. I even got a little bit extra... <laughs> a little bit extra story during the credits. Let that roll. That was a fun game. I think I overestimated what the difficulty would be. I mean, I, I saw a Steam comment that said some of the puzzles were too hard. So, uh, it serves me right for reading Steam comments. I'll see you guys all in the next series. Have a wonderful day and peace. Big fish cock.